Hey guys, Rob Skiba here with another TestingTheGlobe.com presentation in association with Victor Brewer and the Explosive Truth YouTube channel. Sorry it's taking so long to get this video up. Uh, right after we did the balloon launch, I had to go to Massachusetts for a while and deal with some family business up there. And uh, then by the time I got back and got the footage from Victor and sat down to edit this, well, this video took the better part of a week to, to finally get completed. So... Uh, it's finally done and we're ready to go here. Uh, if you want to see just the raw footage of the two cameras, you can do so on the Explosive Truth YouTube channel. For this video, I actually decided to sync up both cameras on the balloon with footage that was shot live during the event by me, Rick, and another guy named Tim. In the first part of this video, I take you behind the scenes to show you what the payload included and how we launched the balloon. And then from the moment the balloon takes off until we recover the payload, all of that footage is in real time, synced and cut together just as it happened. I know at three hours it's a long video, but uh, my hope is that as you watch this, you feel like you are right there alongside us for this adventure. So uh, if it's too long and you don't have three hours, you might want to watch this in double speed. YouTube allows you to do that, so you can watch the whole thing in an hour and a half. All right, enjoy. All right, so here we go again. Round two. Round two. Balloon chasers. Balloon chasers, part two. <laughs> this is it, man. Uh, this time we're gonna get everything back. Yeah. Infinite impact and aerial image solutions. Candy Graham. Take two. Yeah, it's locked. I wonder if the code is 867530. Let's see. 8675309. Oh. Can you do it? I was trying 8675309. Oh, okay. You don't have the skills. <laughs> so I'm going to pick the lock. <laughs> oh, he's going to pick the lock. <laughs> All right, you guys ready CB2? Hang on. Yeah. She, she, she's a limo. Wow, look at this. And we're back. Oh, wow. Here it is, Rob. Ooh. This baby's a limo. Wow. So, I had a. That's a smaller box, too, isn't it? Or is it the same box? It's a larger box. It's larger. Long. Yeah, it's actually larger. It, it's I think it's longer put than tall. Rubber yeah. uh, <laughs> rubber band propeller on this thing, man. It'll come back. So this is based on the other guy's. Yeah, whatever. What was his name? I forgot his name. Daryl or something like that. Or Daryl Hedges. This yeah. was like the best design that he had, and it was awesome when it got into the wind. Oh, and you got the you got the gimbal on top this time. Well, I also got one underneath. Oh, you got two. <laughs> Sweet, and both of them are. Zip lock tight. <laughs> oh, you can check the zip ties. Would you like to check the zip ties? I, would, I, I think <laughs> you would everybody like would like okay, it. Okay, everyone would like to check the zip ties. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so this is a, yeah, this is this is gonna actually get probably one more zip tie anyway. But this is like a fifty pound brake strength zip tie, so it sh shouldn't. Uh, uh, those are the kind of restraining people. I paid a hundred dollars for zip ties. <laughs> <laughs> Right on. Are they both got the same lens? Or they, the uh, what are they? No, got this is the wide angle here on top. So that's a standard GoPro. Yeah, and this one's gonna follow. So as the basket turns, oh. this one will gently follow. This one, obviously, will hold position. These legs are not permanent; they're just yeah. temporary to hold it up when I work on it. And uh, that's from, from my original quadcopter. Oh. <laughs> or actually, my second build. So this, is that the 7.2? That's the 7.2 millimeter. So we're there. going with the same lens that we had before? Yeah, same is, lens. And that's that a, a new GoPro or a different? Yeah, uh, uh, it's, it's one a, of our, we had like 10. So, so it's a so I just grabbed one. Hero 4. Hero 4, yeah. gimbal you had before? Yeah. You want to see something really cool? Yeah, I'll show you something really cool. Don't tell me the Chinese came through. Well, what do you mean? No, the Chinese jacked it up. They said, that's why we had two gimbals. It's because they sent me the wrong gimbal. I checked oh. my order. This is the this is the uh, Feutech Mini, not the Mini Pro. Oh. And I ordered the Mini Pro. I checked, and they sent me the Mini. So last night I panic or yesterday it was like panic mode huh. yet again. They sent me the Mini, and I'm like, where can I heck can I get a Pro? And lo and behold, Amazon had one with 24 hour shipping. So wow, Amazon yeah. Prime. Uh, Amazon Prime. Prime. Yeah, I got that one in this morning. So nice. wow. So this is what's really cool. Let me, Welcome to Open T let me show you guys this. You guys will like this. All right, so I can now control both gimbals from the transmitter. What? So as you can see, it's hard to. Are they separate on the? Yeah. Control. I got 
one set on this stick. No way. And then I got the other set on this stick. Sweet. And so the coolest feature about this, <laughs> I figured out what funny. happened, what went wrong last time. So I didn't have this receiver set to fail safe. So what happened was, is when we finally lost transmission, that's why it started spinning. Huh. Mm. So we lost connection with this, and it reset to the default PWM, PWM signal. But now if you shut it off, they hold the PWM signal that they had before, so they'll continue. They'll stay at whatever stay, they want. Stay, to stay whatever spot I, I want to stay in. Yeah. That's awesome. Now this one's gonna spin the whole mm -hmm. time because this one's not a three-axis. Mm -hmm. So basically, let me turn it back on so you can see. Welcome to Open TX. So this one here. Throttle warning. I know. So this one here, when it boots up, oh, grab the thing. So it, it's got a limit. See, I can turn, I can turn, I can turn, and the limit's right there, and it stops. It's like a two seventy. Yeah, something like that, <clears throat> or not even. It's like a it's like a one seventy actually. So it can do. Well, it's yeah, it's two seventy all the way around. So from like here yeah. all the way here, yeah. That's awesome though. And then of course we can look over. The, what's going to be so cool about this is we can like it's going to be like kind of like the skydiver view, because we're gonna be <laughs> oh. <laughs> we can and we can look up at the sun. Oh. And so we can kind of you know. As we get towards the darkness of space, we can set it on a position. Well, are we going to are we going to have a, a live yeah, feed where we can observe this? Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. We've got a new antenna for it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's better. Well, it's it's or we can change in and out. So this is a patch antenna. This will give us better signal for with le it's it's not directional. Not as so directional. So once we get up really high, we can switch out. Just just unscrew and plug the other one in. And ah. Then we'll get directional. Nice. How many people are joining us this time? A lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Everybody's taking work off, or <laughs> everybody's <laughs> taking work off. Exactly. The whole crew. we're gonna shut down <laughs> businesses Andy's, again for Andy's, more. Andy's, Andy's field. Uh, he's like, you guys gotta be out of there. I got lessons tomorrow. <laughs> he's like, I got, I got airplane lessons. <laughs> I got airplane lessons to do. So. So what time's the pl plan for the launch? So the plan for the launch is like seven thirty. Okay, so, about the same as yeah, last time. Yeah, seven thirty roughly. Yeah. All right. So this these fins are designed to what? Try to minimize Basically, the spinning or yeah, minimize spin. So we're gonna have these ball bearings above, you know, and the balloon's gonna spin independently. So as that spins, these fins will kind of end up heading this. into the wind and keep nice. this in a certain direction. Now the wind shifts a lot, you know, mm -hmm. if, as we've seen at different altitudes. So it is gonna change as it goes up, but it'll be able to spin freely and hold that heading until the wind direction changes. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, uh, it's so funny. I just am geeking out that I have control of both. That is cool. So, man. Well, uh, see, I can you're go the opposite. I know right now. It comes remote control. What about uh, uh, trackers? GPS trackers. Same as last time. Three. Uh, it's on the all on the inside though. It's all on the inside. So, so we're just gonna make sure we that's can't secure. put a tack anything on there I or anything. Able to get anything. So what's the range of this again? That's about twenty miles. So twenty miles. We and should then, have control. And then when, once it once it loses, unless we chase signal, it. Unless we chase it, because you know, twenty miles. That would be cool. We yeah. got a truck to do it. Uh, <laughs> did you did you fix that other thing that you wanted to put on the roof? <laughs> no. I, oh, I'm telling you, man. The gimbal didn't get in until yesterday. Yeah. Both of them. This one came in the morning. Actually, this one came in the morning yesterday. So and you're not then, pulling an all nighter. No, I'm not pulling an all nighter. I yeah, tonight we're going to bed early. Wait, I I, I still want to end this question here. Yeah. So if this breaks signal. Those lock in place in to place. the original. And the nice thing, you know, whatever the, whatever the setting is. So this one, the good thing about that one is it's locked. See, when I let go of the sticks, it goes to middle position. Do that again. That's so cool. So 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 when I let go of the stick, so I can point down. Whenever yeah. I let go of the stick, it goes right back. Oh, down. Oh, right. Yeah. And does it is that like level? It's just about. It, well, it's, it's pitched about, down like, pitch like two or three degrees. Yeah, it's right? pitched like two. Which, okay. which is actually pretty cool because. Yeah. If there's going to be any barrel distortion, yeah. it will come with the horizon above center. Yeah. Yeah. So. This will show it. Yeah. This well, awesome. well, well. The theory nice is with job. this lens, hopefully we won't see any there lens. There shouldn't be any. There's any, like any no barrel, barrel distortion. distortion with this thing. Nice yeah. job. Just about zero. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, bro. <laughs> So yeah, I'm pretty uh, excited. I'm pretty stoked. Uh, I, like I, I really like the top gimbal. The top gimbal just makes it feel like a spaceship of some How kind. How much did you get out of the UPS store for this sponsorship? You know, yeah, we, for this uh, sponsorship, <laughs> sponsored by UPS. I got a good twenty dollars. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Excellent. This will be our our, our I, NASC, yes, our NASCAR weather balloon launch. We'll have all the stickers all over it. We only got one side. Yeah. 
They only got one side. They only well, got one side. Well, we got to paint the Freemasonic numbers on the other side to prove that we're all in the Illuminati. So well, I've got my orange shirt. You get your orange shirt, and we'll no, put. Actually, we're orange. No. Hey, no, just wait. Hang on. We'll no. put the numbers thirteen, thirty-three, and seventy-two on Don't the you side guys right there. Understand anything? Put on so. your orange witches hats. Come on. There you go. Put your hat on. You're part of the lodge. I can't put the hat on. I'm sorry. He, I can't join in. He, he got a good hair. Like he got a cool haircut. Oh, that's right. You didn't. I stand. got the haircut this time, man. <laughs> I don't have the neck yeah. hair going. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the neck hair. Well, you gotta you gotta keep the fans happy, like right? Everybody's going, like, man. dude, like shave your neck, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shut this thing down. Let's get some food because I gotta. All right. Yeah. I gotta finish up. Where we're we almost eating? done. Where are we going to eat? Um, we'll go to Los Cuatro's Tacos, I think. Los Cuatro's Tacos. Yeah. Awesome. You guys have to let me order because mm -hmm. you guys speak Spanish to go there. <laughs> uh, that's a real Mexican place. I can't wait to try this. It's a, a real Mexican place. All right. so that's the and we are doing right, right there. Right. What is it? Yeah, this is the Dragon Link receiver here. This is a 5 volt reducer. This is the APRS transmitter. And then the battery is going to go in there, the big fat battery. And then there's a video transmitter over there, which mm -hmm. isn't live yet. You put all the, but that's the, the, all, all the okay. stuff. Yeah. The yeah. All the stuffing. Oh, yeah, I got to put all the stuffing in. Is that yeah. the same transmitter we had last time? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, same one. Nice. So everything was good. I mean, everything seems to be functioning. I tested that. It's flat, Jim. Officer, stand back. Stand back. This place is highly contagious. <laughs> that would be pretty hilarious. I think we found it, I guys. think that's a good... I think, I think we found it. Is it rotating? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, it shuts. See? I didn't realize... It. I never even knew it shuts. See? It shuts like the original tricorder, man. It's a real deal. Hey, man. <laughs> stand back. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're contagious. I'm conta dude. highly contagious. <laughs> oh man, nerd, the nerd, nerd level seventeen. It's off the off the truck ship. And then how this is close, so I don't break it. All right, here we go again. Take two. Here we go. This is going to be awesome today. The, um, not a cloud in the sky. Well, there's clouds way out to the west. No chemtrails this time. But no chemtrails. No nothing. They got the ultralight going on this time. Ooh, excellent. And they have here next to me. They haven't uh, got the balloon set up yet either. So. Look, I'm about ready to take out a wing. Got the lounge shaver ready to go, huh? <laughs> no, that's not there, nice. nice. Might even be a better day than last time. Yeah. Uh, really? Are they? I mean, it's about it mixed between the first day and the last day. The last day because we're going to something weird. Yeah, we're going to Lancaster. Okay. Zip tie on this like we did before? Uh, yeah, probably. Where are your zip ties? Um, in this black bag behind me. That satchel right there? Scoop. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of want to move it to the middle. That's the truth. This is a dangerous part where you're playing with metal that could actually maybe spark near a hydrogen tank that is being opened up. Oh, there's a reason you use brass. That's on post. That's what you're doing. Is it? Yep, I was trying to catch the thread. You know how you feel it. Click into place. It's Lucas, isn't it? I think so. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> 
prepared for launch now, huh? Got the radio guy? It happened last time. <coughs> right here, this battery? Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that battery. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't know what happened to the covers. They're gone years ago. So, I'm going to just put a loop in this yeah, and you can loop on. Yep. This is the, uh, we you testing the strength of the lift? Yeah. That's exactly what's going on. Alright, give me two seconds. Make sure that thing. I don't really want to let it up any yeah. higher than. Make sure this. that plastic yeah, I'll get down really low. tight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, I mean, it's all you. Off a it's all me. All shoulders. you. Alright, we've got 3.2. Keeping his hands right on it. Right. We need. I think all of us would be jumping Keep going. Up. Keep yeah. going? Yeah, we're going to 4.8. Four, 4.8? Eight. Four, eight? Yeah. So we got quite a bit more. Or whatever. Right. We're basically empty this tank, I think. Just about. I mean, I don't know how much pressure is left in it. Six hundred, maybe six fifty. That should be enough, though. I mean, we're giving it everything we got, right? <laughs> <laughs> the manufacturer told me they've been having like way more success with overfilling them than underfilling them. Like, guess when they underfill, they tear and fold. Whereas when you overfill them, like we were looking at on the video. They rupture correctly where it's, you know, like a fragmentation. Like, a, like in the little wrinkles they could get. But it's not gonna wear and it's not it's not gonna pop sooner though, is it? Supposedly you get like got 127,000 feet out of the uh, eight hundred grand, so really? He said yeah. filling it up to like six feet per or six meters per second as opposed to Oh. Oh okay. excellent. Yeah, it's a lot more full well, than, yeah, they do, they just than it was before. So they said if you you guys didn't drive the smiley face on it. First mark is one hundred. It'll go well, higher before it pops. Okay. Remember, you are picking up a piece of plastic that weighs a little bit too. Yep. Like, I don't know how much, but. Okay, you know, it's all you. It's all me. It's all you. Oh man, you're sketching well, me out. Oh, we're we're gold right there. Right there. Four five, man. We're perfect. So it's actually a little more than four five. Yeah, it's like four eight. Okay. Should we take some out? Or are we doing it? No, we're doing it. This is perfect because we were supposed to do five one. So. I think that line. That white thing yeah. Right there. Okay. Do it. Taking off the zip tie, moving it into neutral. It is anchored. Nice, beautiful. Oh, there what are you is doing? Lovely. A little wind. Forearms. My like the thumb muscle. Like there's a slight bit of a breeze it's really now. Sore. It's picking Ow. up a little. <laughs> it's well done. <laughs> gotcha. <clears throat> We got Rob here from out of state. What's up? Came in to watch the launch. Take two. Be a part of this awesome experiment. Okay. Yeah, it's not great to tape. It won't. Note to self, 3M. 3M. You can't get your nails either. Look out. I can grab it. There's half of it. <laughs> it like, <laughs> you got it's it. really yeah. crappy tape. <laughs> Victor, you got, you, got, you got that though, yeah. right? Right We're having crappy tape issues. I've got the balloon. I'm not going to let go unless Scissors somebody makes four. me. <laughs> Cut this off here. Right there? Yeah. How far? Close as possible. Okay. Uh, oh. Zip tie. Not that close. Zip tie off. <laughs> little juice. I don't want to be good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chopping you want zip fingers. tie over there? Yes. Well, it is apparent that nobody's watching this live stream. <laughs> But hopefully someone gets do, on here soon. Do not let go. <laughs> not a good time to tickle Brandon right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, my nose itches. This through here? Yep. <clears throat> and then another one to tie this to that. Yep. But uh, where am I going? I don't really let go, so. All right, let me, give me one second and I'll take it. You want this rope around it like that inside yeah, of it? Okay, I'm good. Okay, I'm letting it. go and you have it. I got it. Okay, it's all you. <clears throat> You still have it, right? Yeah. You still have it. Yeah, I'm letting completely. It's all you. That's a lot bigger than last time. Oh, yeah. It's a lot more <laughs> buoyant, like, too. I'm like totally nervous right now. <laughs> Strangle the groundhog. Strangle the groundhog. Just think about it. Here we go again. <laughs> Choke the hawk. 
You know, I saw another balloon on the way here this morning. <coughs> yeah, hot air balloon. Oh, sweet, it's Peter. Oh, dude, Peter's coming. Today would be a perfect day to do a hot air balloon. Different Peter, but yes. Is that Peter, Peter, is that Peter Russian? Coming. Oh, they're both coming? Do you know the other Peter? Yeah. Which Peter? Peter Shrapel? No. Okay, this is Sam and Peter Shrapel. <laughs> He's just like, it's Peter. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. <laughs> it's Peter, man! <laughs> Is He's that, awesome! I know a lot of Peters. I don't think that's Peter. So, Victor, have you explained why, why you don't have any shoes? <laughs> so I don't die. <laughs> well, that doesn't seem very I mean, I'm pretty sure I know who it is, but I don't think it's Peter. <laughs> yeah. Who is it? I don't know. Who is that? Who do you know driving a vehicle like that? Peter? Oh, yeah. It's Daryl. That's fun. <laughs> Daryl. Oh, hey. it's your fam! <laughs> <laughs> it's the fam! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put one more in this, and we are gonna tape it. Think Sounds good. That it's not Peter. You still have it. Are we using the 3M tape? <laughs> yeah, you still have it. I still have it. It's confirmed. Peter is not around. Is this what you're wanting? <laughs> yep, the good stuff. Are you sure Peter's gonna show up? I'm not. I'm not. Okay, sure you still Peter have it. Show I'm telling you, uh, how big a piece this? you want? You just own. I should have brought my I, I didn't up. even think about it. <clears throat> Through both the... man, come on. I mean, my kids would have loved it. Okay, you got the string? Yep. I got it. I have the balloon. You bring it down through here? It has you. <laughs> Which one of these kids are we sending up in the balloon? Yep. You pick. Comment and let me know. Probably the lighter. Wow. This got really weird. Who weighs the last? Who weighs the hand? Who weighs You're volunteering. <laughs> when we went in the B-17, my daughters needed constant assurance that we weren't going to go bomb someone. Did you go fly in I went in it, but we did the interior tour, but we didn't. Let go? Climbing gear going up. No, I just want the four lines to go straight up, uh, you know. How long? About 15, 15 feet. feet. Yeah, about 15 feet. So. And they go into that little Four lines. Four, don't don't yeah. make them come together. Exactly. Don't, so about 30 feet each one, and it's a U loop. You know what I mean? Okay. I'll be right back. Yeah. Hey, is this yours? So what are you doing now? Checking the focus of this thing. Because yeah, since it's a custom lens, I want to make sure it's in focus and it ain't moving. That's yeah. the, where's the 7.2? 7.2. 7.2, check that baby. <laughs> you can, yeah. you can, tie, a, you can tie something around his toe. <laughs> make sure it's yours. <laughs> yeah. So Victor, are you flying the drone? You got the heater for the battery? No, just tons of insulation. Oh, really? Yeah. The battery will be fine because the battery generates its own heat and it's right next to the video transmitter, which is an 800 milliwatt transmitter, which is pretty powerful, which we strip the heat sink off of. And so the so heat, be heating. yeah, it'll be heating the, it's going to really heat up. So save weight and heat it with something else. Hmm. You use that same pluck foam? Yeah. For the inside? <laughs> yep. And it's a little more streamlined this time because once I power it up, it uh, it's just a single plug. It's just you know I got access to it. I don't have to pull everything out. Hmm. Okay, do you need it in there? <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna need it in there here. And the only thing I'm wondering is we should probably replace this battery. I'm trying to let the batteries run a little bit so they start sucking. You know what I mean? That's my thought. Warming up. But you're not gonna have the same problem before where it doesn't recognize the exactly. That's why I, I, we shouldn't. But you never know. Yeah, I got the SD cards over there. <laughs> now I'm trying to be extra cautious and run the batteries a little bit. So it make sure it's drawing before we take oh, off. Oh uh, yeah, just get it going. Just in case. <clears throat> so you never know with so, GoPros. Yeah, we want it drawing completely off of the yeah. external battery. Realistically, yeah. So and we got XD, SD cards in there too, right? Not yet. <laughs> we will. Don't we'll we'll forget those. Until yeah, we won't be able to balance those out until okay. exactly. Oh, that's a small swivel. 175 pound brake. They do. Oh. Do they? Okay. And what's this? This is 40 pound. Right? 50. Actually, we went straight up to 50. Okay. Legal limit. That probably was my fault. Two things do not come burning. That's good. When you're in a live That's exactly what we're doing. Here's a little, da -da -da. Yeah, look over. Okay. So, <coughs> are we doubling it? Is that exactly how you want to do it? Yeah. 
Well, it seems messed up to put something on that thin of a thread, doesn't it? It does seem kind <laughs> of messed like, up. It's thread. like, what are we doing here? <laughs> is that is that gonna be strong enough? Fifty pounds. It's the legal limit for strength on a balloon. The crazy Believe thing is, it's that's strong less. stronger than this. It's stronger than that. <laughs> Just doesn't look it's like it. Created nylon. <laughs> Okay. It's meant um, to pull in sharks and stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> give me a marlin. Give me marlin. <laughs> oh, 7.2. It's a smaller. Yeah. All right. The non push up. Everything's, both cameras are turned on? Both cameras are turned Over on. There, but they're still. not recording yet. Little APRS is up. With the dog. I'm checking that. Uh, APRS is on. Moment. Okay. And you can see the shadow. Spot tracker's the in there. Out spot there. tracker's in there. Because that's like worst right. case scenario. Yep, yeah, spot tracker is on. Well, we are here at the launch site again, and obviously it's uh, it's definitely a beautiful morning out here. So we'll see if anybody jumps on. Obviously, they'll be watching this. There's there's Skeeber Deeber, Skeebers here, and uh, yeah, we had uh, we had a little bit better morning this time, didn't we? Yeah. Weather wise, yeah, there's, well, there's no chemtrails today. No chemtrails, and then here I'll show everybody if you look up. There's the chute. And there's the balloon. Blooms. Brandon, Josiah, and uh, Victor was out here earlier. Andy's out here. Got the crew out here, all the yeah, camera guys. What's happening, cameraman? How you doing? What's up, brother? Of the so, and then another guy's doing the Facebook Live. Explosive Truth Facebook page. You can go check that out. So there's that. Um, other than that and obviously, uh, just hey, started. we just want to say thanks for opening up your property to us. Oh, absolutely. This is awesome. <laughs> and then, uh, I'm so thrilled to see the stuff that you build for yourself. You're, you're a handy man when it comes we to getting fun. up in the air. Yeah. Have some fun toys <laughs> yeah. in that garage. A lot of fun Is, stuff. You so. Yeah, I'm checking it. It hasn't showed up yet. Okay. Let's take a look at the time here. We are at 8.02. Looks like we're running a little behind. But it's always better to be safe, so we're making sure everything's proper. The camera. It is starting to get warm out here. It was rather chilly when I showed up this morning. Now, we don't have a GPS tracker on the camera, but it is zip tied. <laughs> but it is zip tied. Please get it the is, camera in there. It is very well secured. Expensive, expensive zip ties. Yeah. So the trackers are in the box like last time. Are you recording stuff? Sorry. What's up? Oh, you're an interview. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to videotape you videotaping me. I'm videotaping you videotaping me. Camera versus camera. Let's see if we can, like, you know the tunnel, the mirror yeah, we'll tunnel thing? we get it to infinity and beyond. Uh, I don't know. It's not working. <laughs> so, cameras are rolling. Everything's being double and triple checked. Brand Josiah. Josiah's working on his biceps today, holding that balloon down. Right. After we'll you, the camera. you just tie those two, Brand? Yes. I'm just going to do opposite corners. That's it? Okay. Don't see any reason not to, unless you want yeah, to tell me otherwise. It's fine. Let's let it up and let's make sure we get the cables not caught on the uh, GoPro, but I don't want to. All right. Things are getting crazy. All right. Let's let it up a little more. I'm going to break off the leg, if I can. <laughs> you used too much hot glue, man. He's breaking the legs off, so we don't, we don't need them. Got about they're, pretty, they they're on there, dude. <laughs> I don't know if I want to break them because I want to break the plate. Oh, uh, yeah, I hear you. Could you. Well, how much weight were they with it on there? Do you know? Take it that way. Everything's legit. legit. We're underweight. Did it work? Broke the plate. Just a little bit? Just a little let's, bit. let's leave it. Oh, there goes the leg. Should we leave the rest of them? Don't need those. Do you really need Lancaster? <laughs> Lancaster. <laughs> Well, the breeze right now is very, very subtle. I don't know if you could have picked them. I'm good for uh, getting rid of them because it's going to enter and they're gone. impede the view. Yeah, yeah. you're right. All right, we got 11 people. Okay, on. okay, we're good. All right. Cameras so, yeah, are still Lucas, rolling. All right, guys, Maybe. It Hang on. Lucas? Are you doing a countdown? I got to get the family. Get the drone. Yeah, going to follow it up. Right. Yep. Sweet. Several traffic around them. They're going to get there. Is there still traffic? Yeah. Yeah, we got two of them that are... Victor, are we bounced back. enough? Are we level? That was low. Oh, yeah, and they're there both the coming towards us. He's supposed to be turning, but he hadn't yet. This guy? Yeah. And there's the Mavic. We're going to wait for like five minutes. We've got like four airplanes that are going to like pass directly out of us.
drones up, but we've got some some light aircraft about to fly over. So got to wait this for them it. to get okay, out of the way. Let's this way. We got everybody blinded. Yeah. There we okay, go. Okay. There we go. Now. The, now. Oh, you mean I had that? And then we've got the balloon behind oh. us. Halo. Look at this. Now that's the shot. Here, Rob. You're a balloon. Oh, you're oh a there you go. You're, hey, look. Balloon head. You're a balloon head. I'm balloon head. You're a balloon head. Uh -huh. There's the drone over here somewhere. So just waiting for the airplanes to fly over. That thing's supposed to go up really fast, we believe. It's filled, it's filled pretty close to capacity. Yeah. It's definitely uh, a lot of hydrogen. A lot more hydrogen than last time. So, but we appreciate everybody watching. Glad that we're here. Uh, so, yeah. Somebody type in there? Oh, somebody sent a text message. So they didn't put the trackers on the camera, a little bummed out about that, but uh, Victor was saying that part of the reason was they're not really any good unless you're like right near them anyway. So, you know, it is what it is, but they did uh, secure them a lot better. So the cameras are really uh, like some super expensive zip ties, uh, have them really attached to the box. And so there's trackers, three trackers in the box. So praying that everything goes all right. Is that the air traffic right there, guys? That's why we couldn't take off? There's an actual plane. That was it, right? Yeah, that's the one we were looking for. Just so you guys know the delay, Andy, explain that. Uh, we're watching the flights on flight radar. So we are being responsible. This is all legit. And you're very experienced at what you're doing, correct? <laughs> yep. All right. Don't least, want to give them any at least, surprises. At least that's what we're saying. <laughs> we're sticking to it. We're good. We're good. This is awesome. Let me get the uh, camera right up. We're ready. Brandon and Josiah, the the Wonder Brothers. Ready. These guys. <laughs> oh no, that's no, all good. Unless you guys wonder a lot. <laughs> or wander. How many wander? Today we'll be you will be what are wandering, we wandering brothers. <laughs> the dynamic duo here. This is the this is the system. Got the gimbals on there. Two different gimbals, uh, which you know we explained that uh, it'll be explained in the video. But since we're live, you didn't see it. But basically, what we've got is uh, two different gimbals. There's one on the top, right there, and then there's one on the bottom. Oh, thanks, brother. Uh, and there's bottom here. And here he is, Rob and I taping each other again. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> What's up? So there's the bottom gimbal. And that one's got the human uh, line of sight lens on it, basically. So it's as close yeah, to the good. human video eye as possible. Um, and this one's a 270 the angle gimbal. <laughs> and these are actually controllable through the uh, remote that <laughs> Victor's got right here. So this is their, is that the top gimbal there? The, uh, this, yeah, this one's the top. This one's the uh, bottom. Awesome. That one's rolling. You good? Yeah, we got heat in there. Okay. That one's rolling. Hey. All right. Drones are up. Hey, Peter. Break over this way because it's probably going to head that way. Okay. I don't know which way it's heading right now. Well, it's going to head. It's going to head. It's kind of all over the place right now. Yeah, that's true. All right. Ready? Ready? Yep. We're just keeping the drones back. Here we go. Okay, hold on, man. Let me, let me get back, guys. All right. Tell me All right. Down Three, down two, one, go. Watch. There it goes. It's going north. Oh no, it's swinging pretty. It's going to go northeast and then head back to the. Those spins just straightened it out. You see that? I did. Straightened out, guys. I mean, it's got a little spin, but it's not up, bad up at all. Away. That balloon's spinning way more than that box is. It <laughs> is cranking. Wow. Do we have the live feed going already? Yeah. Do you have a spot tracker yet? Uh, no. <laughs> it's like, like the first time. <laughs> no, I mean like the. Oh yeah. Has it pinged? Good. 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 Let's get turn this. Footage when I turn it. Patch antenna. 
It's on the little monitor right now. Oh. Is it pretty good? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's gold. Oh, wow, it's swinging a lot. Now watch this. Ready? It's the top. <laughs> oh, nice. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Very cool. Oh, yeah, the difference between the two. Yeah. You know, wide Standard that. GoPro. <laughs> See, now it's spinning, it's following it. Yeah. It's not bad, though, but. Do we have a stand to put this on again, or no? Uh, I'm going to plug it into this here in a second. Oh. So we have it on the bigger monitor. Cool. Dun, 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 dun. So we could show the, the difference between the two. Oh, my goodness. Look at the clarity. Look, that's the top one. That's the top one. That's the top camera? Yeah, the standard GoPro. Yep. And that's the bottom. Yeah, there's a big difference. Yeah. So on that one, let's pitch up some, maybe? That's pretty good. Oh, you want to get it? Yeah, that's so, amazing. So yeah. yeah, yeah. He's controlling the gimbal now. Um, before we, uh, let me get it plugged into this monitor. The big monitor? Yeah, I don't know. Wh which way did it go? I, didn't, I don't even it's, see it. It went northeast. Did it? Yeah. Let yeah, me turn it. Creep signal on that. Well, yeah. Patching said it'll work good for quite a ways. But, just uh, help me find a way. There's a USB plug in my car in the trunk. Okay. And we need it to run, um, where's the little black box? Uh, there's a little black box right over there in that thing. Um, Is that a converter? Yeah, it's a converter. We'll convert it to HDMI. And so. You need the power? Yeah, I need, need I need a five volt data power, basically. Okay. And all I need is USB stick into a computer or something like that. Yep. Oh, we are up and running. How'd the Mavic fly? Oh, great. I got some uh, good stuff. This, this folds up like oh, that. yeah. That is crazy cool. Tiny. Wow. So you take the, you take the globe off of it and everything, because otherwise it yeah. gives you a nasty flare, doesn't yeah. it? And okay. that would be terrible footage. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm going to go back to the cover so you guys can all see the visuals. Oh, right. so high. Right, that is just crazy cool, man. So high. Yeah. So high. My favorite thing by far. Oh, what's this, dude? What's this How fast will that thing go? Uh, it should go about 45 or so. 45 miles an hour? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. About so you have high? to be in sport mode. Uh, uh, it's locked to 400 feet. No cool. higher than that. It won't go higher. Right. Unless you're unlocked. We do. It's going to pop up soon. Man, that's really cool. It won't come in on this, but I'll come on the computer. Awesome. <laughs> hey, it's getting a little bit of spin, but the gimbal's holding, man. Watch the box come by. Yeah, I know. You know it's, it's whipping. Yeah, that's, that's that's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Show the difference between the two cameras again. How do you do that? Right there. So there's the GoPro fisheye lens. You need a standard HDMI. And that's which, the straight lens. Yep, is, uh, I have you one. Back to it, right? You got it. Yeah, uh, that's, which one is that? This is just a standard HDMI. That's the fisheye. That's not a fisheye. Yep. Before we start to really lose signal. I don't know which way. Wait, let's turn the patch antenna. And these will go up too, probably. Yeah. Which, uh, which direction? Do you oh. guys have an eye on it? What? Uh, it went this way, bub. Like, right out here. Okay. Um, I've got this thing ready. I just need to plug it in something. All right, they're over here working on the, uh, working on connecting the live stream from the balloon. And hopefully you guys will get a view of that. Yes, I am a pretty man. That's <laughs> yeah, 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 space ghost. Oh, we've lost signal. That's going in. Oh, okay. Here. Hilarious, dude. <laughs> oh, Captain! Oh, what are you lost signal? <laughs> Bring it back! Hit reset! Alright, so let me hit some of these comments because people are already commenting. Um, are y'all recording? Shout out. Yo. Alright. Oh, man, there it is. Yes, I believe so. You guys are recording the footage right now, right? Is this being recorded? The footage from the camera? No, we're not recording. Well, then the answer to that question is no. According to the camera. Move. Look at this top gimbal. Look at how much it's moving. Oh, I'm sitting here focusing on this. Let's turn this thing because this thing's starting to. Oh, you mean the glare in here? Well, if we turn it this way, here, yeah, over here. 
Is the uh, altitude supposed to come into your phone, Victor? Yeah, I mean, it'll go to is the that, APRS.fi. Is that the fisheye ones? There's the, uh, that's the non-fisheye there. But we need to change, uh, yeah, you can, uh, I'm, I'm going to change the antennas, because this is getting... It's already losing it. Yeah. Yeah. So you grab the, uh, yeah, the big one in the Rusty, car. watch out, Bubba. Uh, we just... I will actually see if I can get you his phone number actually, right now. This, uh, this box. Just right. give me one second. Dude, look at how much that is spinning. <laughs> but that bottom is holding it. Look at that. What's that rope? It's just hanging down. Cable. All right, from the, that's uh, from the sides of the box. Antenna and go back to the one we had originally, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah, just for right now. Just for right now. Sorry. Sorry. Now I don't run the social media around here. Victor does. I'm just I'm holding. Well, I mean I'm currently running it for the day for this launch, but Victor is the one that runs the operation around here, so. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see what we got here. And whoop. There's Victor's phone number if you want to get a hold of him. Leave it up there for a second. But uh, I wouldn't contact him right now as he's busy. Let's probably wait till the balloon launch is over or something. All right. Hopefully, you got a chance to get that. Oh man! See, this is why I needed diversity. I should have done diversity track. I just I skipped out like last minute. Getting the antenna ready here, so we can get a better feed. I don't know where it is. I, it went north, so last time, last, time, last, time, last time it kind of stayed in the same direction though, right? Until it hit the oh, no, no, no. Victor, Victor loves people. He loves people. I love, can you tell? Can you tell? Look at that smile. So this is the antenna we're hooking up here so we can get a real good feed. It's Rob there in the background. We're trying to get a feed from his forehead. Point the antenna in the right direction. So now we're pointing that at the sun. I don't know why. Oh yeah, the balloon went that way, that's why. Brandon is in the back discussing mechanics of sorts. It's a nice little ride. All right, getting the power hooked up here. Hopefully we'll get a feed here in a second. And it look good? And that was one second. Let's check the top. All right, coming around here. Uh, Did we lose the top camera? There's the top camera. Is that the non-fisheye? That's the fisheye. That's fisheye lens. That is phenomenal. Look at that cloud bank off there. Yeah. Wow. Is that over the lake? Was that the lake? Yeah, that looks really cool. And then there's the bottom. Hey, Josiah? Yep. Angle it north a little bit just to see. Let's check. I'm going to check APR, see if it popped up. We're good? We're getting a pretty good yeah, signal Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, go back the other way a little bit. That's better, right Right there. Uh, go back a hair. So you can see this is actually clouds right here. That's a whole... Those Storm are the system clouds off in. in the distance there. What are we doing? Can we shut these lights off? Getting a little static. 
I'm getting a glare on the screen from something. I am a big fan of homeschooling. My kids are going to be homeschooled. All right. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Victor homeschools his kids. You guys can all virtually high five him. What are you giving personal details out? All right, all right. Calm private down. Private person. <laughs> Why don't you keep my social while you're at it? <laughs> all right. I'm going to tell you guys Victor's social. Just kidding. Sorry guys. <laughs> this monitor's giving me a giving me a Is it sir crackling? No, no, I'm talking about the glare on the Oh yeah yeah. Hey Victor. Are you gonna be able to uh, connect a live stream to the Dude, GoPro? We're fourteen thousand feet already. Wow. Fourteen thousand feet. We are cruising. Yeah, it jumps up. Boom. It's got a lot more lift than last time. A lot more lift. Holy cow. Look what at time that. was lunch? I don't know. Lunch time? Do you have oh, yeah. Time? Information is Dude, powerful. Is Did anybody get a launch time? This is about 10 minutes ago, right? Yeah, good, work. good work. Victor. Yes. Everyone wants to know if you're going to be able to live stream that uh, that visual. Feed? And the battery is all pretty strong. No, I didn't have time. The battery was up till late again. Sorry, everyone. All right, so we're going to have to watch the screen, everyone. It's Jalen. Watching the screen. I don't see Jalen. Where's Jalen? Jail. Are we tracking this somewhere? Yeah. Right here. Oh, on your phone? Right. Maybe we turn on something else, but it's like I said, 14,000 feet and it's heading, it's over Appleton, past Appleton. 14,000, it's only been like, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, if that. If so that. 15,000. Hi, sweetie. Oh, that's not that far. What are we about? 10 miles out? If that. Oh! All right, what? So hopefully when the balloon pops, it comes down and lands exactly what where we launched it. What you're seeing up here from. is still, oh sorry brother. What you're seeing up here is still clouds. You can see a, a front coming in. But I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Is that better? I'm seeing a weird. Is that better at all? Yeah, that's is good. That that's good right there. Did you see the balloon? Did you see, see it, Rob? Oh, you got it on Facebook, right? Can I see what it looks like? No, I, I oh. don't. What? Yeah, you're getting it looks like the glitters. gimbals are doing relatively like good. Coming from. This isn't the same monitor we had last time. Though. I think the brightness it's, 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 you're no, I, I think seeing. It's the windows. See if I can get that adjusted. Oh, it's really the the Almost monitor is not the best. I apologize for that. Probably would be better if the door behind us could close, yeah. but we got. Uh, Altitude, we we're at fourteen thousand feet. Just a. Uh, Minute ago, so I'm sure we're climbing this yeah, thing. So it's is, not that door, it's you're getting just the glare off. I just can't believe how that gimbal's somewhere. holding it. Looks like it's a nimble gimbal, the nimble gimbal. Let's see. Well, that's kind of straight off the <laughs> screen, man. It's weird. That is weird. What is it? This, the, like way, the way it looks, glare like, coming in. the way it looks in the phone, it looks wonky. Yeah, see, I'm getting a glare right. Oh, you know what that is? That's the lights on. It's tilted. Hey, hold on, I'm gonna switch. Oh, no. oh, that looks beautiful. I mean, it's getting better, but that's the GoPro. That's, that's the fish eye lens. That's the fish eye lens right there. And fish see, eye look lens. Look at the clouds. Look at these clouds. The yeah. high pressure system. And the sun. And there's the bottom again. Guys, I apologize for the glare. I don't know where it's coming from. I really don't. Is your phone fogging up? Got a Lloyd string no. guy in here. Yeah, sorry, sorry, YouTube world. I, I did not have time. I'm only one man. Victor is only one man. Actually, my phone, you can see a really clear image. I think it's the camera on the phone. Because I'm using the new Galaxy S8, and it's got a beautiful image. Oh, there's. Sunlight just showed up for a second there. It's weird in the middle. It's really weird. Is it the magnet? Uh, this is the GoPro top camera. We should yeah, put it I will try there. Yeah, can we put the regular lens on? Hey, uh, Not I don't know how to switch it. Yeah, that's. Look at the clouds. Look at these clouds. Yeah. That's a storm. I don't know how to. Can we switch the camera? How do we switch it to the other one? Give me one second. Which one do you want? The the seven point two. The other one, right? The bottom one. It is the bottom. Okay, that's the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Hey Rob, there's well, a guy on here. He says he wants you to check out his so channel. One in E above <laughs> Productions. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Brenda, I wish I had a, an umbrella to filter the light. I don't know what's going on. It's, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this will be the format for the rest of the video. What you're seeing here is the APRS tracking data to the left. That's the path the balloon took from launch to touchdown, and I've created a little image of the payload over the tracking path there, which will follow the line in real time as we go along here. To the right is an animated graphic showing the balloon and payload superimposed over an altimeter. It will also animate in real time along with the video footage you are seeing in the center. Now, I must point out that neither of these animations is 100% perfectly accurate. Uh, but these graphics will give you a rough visual guide to show you what the balloon was doing and when. Yeah. The footage at the top center is from the GoPro on top of the payload that was fitted with a standard fisheye lens. And below that is the footage from the bottom camera which was fitted with a 7.2 millimeter non-fisheye lens. The goal of course here is to show you the big difference between the two types of lenses. And I also want you to pay attention to how well the bottom gimbal worked especially. I mean, that thing kept a very steady shot while the payload above it spun and moved around like crazy, especially pay attention to it after the balloon pops. The top gimbal didn't have as many axes of rotation, but it also kept a generally stable view of the horizon. And uh, this is the value in having gimbals for such a test as this. Now I must warn you not to get too excited about what you are seeing and will be seeing as we move along here, um, and I'll tell you why I'm saying that later in this video. Suffice to say, both Flat Earthers and Globers will be seeing what they want to see in this footage. But there's good reason to reevaluate this footage, and I'll do some of that here and probably uh, a bit more in another video. Alright, so let's get back to the action as it took place that day. It was fine. So we are out here at Heavenbound Aviation, who has graciously allowed us to use their facility. My transmitter is yelling at me. This one? Yeah. I think you're actually going to want to turn it. Well, yeah, a little more south, maybe. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's worse. That's gone. That's good, right there. Right there. Right there. So, is that the standard lens or is that the GoPro? That's the standard lens in the bottom. Man, we need a shade up. This is really bad. You can't see the screen yeah, at all. What you're seeing is that's the reflection of Victor. Oh, is it? it yeah. Am I being Whoa. reflected? Sorry. Tim, here. You take yeah. over. You're the talker. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry, Victor doesn't know how to run a camera. I'm just kidding. He's a pro. Can you tilt the camera up a little bit? Uh, it's held in center right now. I don't. I mean, I can, uh, but I don't really want to. Okay. No, I see no. a I mean, river here, I'll, I'll or a tell lake. Just for a second, all right. Oh, that's down. That's up. I know. Everybody's telling me to cover the monitor with a blanket. I know, guys. Are, we're limited with what we've got here. You guys want blanket? Yeah. We have to create a. You got a black one. Create a hood. Yeah, we need a, definitely a hood. That'd be awesome. Okay. Well, can we it in right here? I'm gonna try right. something. We can top whip it around, dude. So we're gonna try something here. Oh, top it in right there. So if you do uh, a... I can staple it in. Give me a second. <laughs> oh, that's much there. better. Yeah. That's the I mean, top. If you watch it through my phone, dude, we are getting it's high. even clearer. Yeah. Holy cow, man! For like 15 minutes. No, it, it, it's 26,044. So what's that other map over there? That That's the same, just, oh, in, just in 3D. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rob, what's the coordinates from here? Are we north? Yeah, we're east. Uh, we're, we're southeast. It's, it's southeast of us. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This needs to be blocked off. We just lost. Uh, we're back. We're back. That's the GoPro lens there. Getting a little bit of feed. When it, the box turns. Yeah. See where the sun's at? The yeah. Watch when it goes, it goes around. Over there in the it goes out. It's like it'll right it'll before it gets to the sun, yeah. So that's a GoPro lens, guys, so you know that is a fisheye lens. How do we switch over to the other lens? Do you guys know? Hey, Victor. 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 Can we clear the antenna area? Yeah. Better reception. All right. Thank you. I am not sure if Rob is aware of the Rob Skibo Chana. Look at the hot spot. Watch this hot spot come in. Watch right below the sun. Oh yeah. There's a hot spot. But nowhere else. Oh yeah, this is great. Yeah, this stream is really funky, guys. Can we check... Uh, Andy's getting ready to go up in the air, I hey, think. Hey, don't run into that thing. Hey, Victor, can we flip over to the flat screen? What? Can we flip over to the standard screen again? Just to check it. How long will that work for? This will be know. the it's difference. Got low signal. Okay. Yeah, we should probably call this channel the Funky Explosive Truth. All right, let me jump in the middle. Yeah. You got it. Oh, it cut out completely. Oh, wow. We cut out it. completely, oh, and it's back. We, uh... All right, maybe now, we need to put, push, point that up a little bit more to the right. Can I'm thinking I put it's this south, right? right in yeah. between there, yeah. and then you won't have to hold it. So How about just that? Stick yep. it in there. Like How's that? Yep. Here, I'll adjust. It's yeah. rough. That's Very good. rough. That's good. Good. Go back the other way. The only thing hair. is, I'm going to be mobile. Oh, there more. we go. There we go. A little more. A little more. I'm doing moving steady yeah. right now. That's pretty. Uh, back. Cut out. Yeah, like, what is that? What if it's just higher? What is that? And then stop there, and then go up. Close. It's this. That's what's doing All right. the mirror on that is sending light back into the lens. That's my, that's me. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's beeping? Are we about to lose the battery on something? Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't sound good, does it? Yeah. It's this. Well, it looks like they left us in here to uh So you guys see die. it now. Now, is that the standard lens? Which that's not showing anything because there's a... There's if that one's underneath, yeah, that one's the standard. This is some, this is some tough stuff here. Now, this is the stream, but when the when it comes down we're going to be able to collect the actual recorded data and then we'll get a super clear picture how's that treating you I'm trying to see it <laughs> you're squinting pretty hard there i know we all have wrinkled noses by the end of the day don't we well by the end of the day i'm gonna need a pair of glasses <laughs> <laughs> i need some 2.0s yeah. We're going to Dollar General and get some uh, Foster Grants. It'll be good. Man, I can't believe how good that is. What's our altitude now? I don't know? know if there's a GPS on the camera. I don't think there is, but I would have to ask Victor. I'm going to go check and see if they've got the tracker up. Um, yeah. As far as antennas go, I'm not sure what Victor put together. I don't know if he could have got a bigger antenna at this point. This, I'd oh, have to ask him. Coming down. This is a, uh, I think you said like a 14 dB antenna. Yagi antenna. I don't know a lot about antennas. So. Uh, <laughs> this is about the biggest that you can get without. Uh -oh. I'm going to see if I can get a space. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if GPSs would work at that altitude. Uh, yeah, I think we lose it. Where are we at? Uh, you just had it. Uh, my name's Tim. Um, you can actually go check out my YouTube channel. It's Lauren Fitz, L-O-R-E-N, 
F-I-T-T-S. My channel actually doesn't have anything to do with this topic. Mine is just a vlog, but it's pretty entertaining. 34,000 feet. Puerto Rico antenna. $27,000. Oh, 27,000 feet. There you go. I mean, we're getting something Sorry, here. What we need is a uh, we need a big satellite dish that's like one mile across on, to uh, receive a signal. Oh no, it doesn't say. It says 2.7k on the screen. That's uh, that's the resolution. My channel is Lauren yeah, Fitz. It's spelled L O R E N F I T T S. Um, Victor does have a system uh, set up for finding it when it comes back down you guys know what the flight time was? uh he gets it's so it sends out a radio signal i believe it is and he gets a ping off it of it now victor's been fully involved in this i have not uh i help victor out with some things when i can so i don't know all the uh all the technical aspects to it Man, that stream is really bad. I mean, we're getting something, but maybe we need to go out here and see what everyone else is up to. I think they're just chilling. Uh, the sky's getting a little hazy. Um, it is hazy way up top, too. Base camp's gonna have to be broken. We okay. must leave. We must leave. We must leave. Okay. So, so, we, we're, so we're gonna start chasing. You guys have APRS.FI as well? Uh, can you send me the link? Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah, I'll send it to you. But we gotta start cruising because it is going south fast. Whoa. How are we chasing this thing? We're just chasing it via APRS. Okay, so we're just gonna follow that basically. Yeah, Bob, basically. Do you have that on your phone? Everybody's phone. It's, on, it's an internet site, website. Anyone can track it. Well, well, just, okay, cool. just need the link, right? Yep, and the, the okay. KD8 PPJ 11. Okay. Well, you're gonna put it on your phone though, right? I'll put it on mine so you can that keep that on. Stay live. Oh, yeah. And we've got a sun this time so we can see it. Bye, sir. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if you've taken a look around, but there's some contract work going on here and some clients coming in to fly. Learn how to land. and uh, Yeah. These are uh, flying. We kind of have to get out of the way. Flying lawn chairs and stuff, so. I want to get a little bit more of the live feed though from this and see where yeah. it's at. We're at 34,000 feet right I now. I know, it's already cruising. Oh, I got to show my uh, my cool watch here. Oh, Can yeah. you see that? Oh, yeah. Also looks like you're punching me in the face in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's sweet. Who got you that? Uh, this guy, uh, Stephen ba Ballard, picked me up a flat earth watch. <laughs> so. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, I guess um, we're going to have to break base camp here in a minute, and then we're going to, I guess this thing's really hauling. It's taking off. So It's going way we're south. Have to we may end up in Georgia. <laughs> balloon chasers to Washington, D.C. or Georgia. Yeah, here we go. Gosh, do we really have to go to the Potomac? I might have to stop in and see Sussman. Scott, are you out there? Some APB. Scotty Sussman, look up. You might see this balloon coming over. Uh, can we turn that a little more side uh, to the south a little bit around? Yeah. We're starting to lose it. Which way is south? I don't know which. Uh, yeah, there you go. To your right. There you go. Right there. Stop. Perfect. Look at this. Look at this picture. Man. Now that's, is that the GoPro or standard cam? That's, that's the bottom one. Yeah, it is. The 7.2. Yeah, but you can see the high pressure system in it still. That's what's... Because we had no clouds here when we took off. That really shows how the gimbal works. You can see the box going spaz over it, but it's yeah. holding its position. Hey, Victor, where are you going? Get the balloon. Balloon! You're going to get it? Yeah. Wait, did it pop already? No, we just gotta chase it. Oh, okay. Wait, do you want me to come with you? Yeah. Alright, I'm going with Victor, guys. We're gonna go get the balloon.
Yeah, we are a bunch of geeks and tech nerds, and I do a lot of uh, 3D modeling and animation. I actually did a uh, model on the computer to scale a 3D model using Blender, which is an open source 3D modeling program. Uh, use Blender to create a two scale uh, version of the Earth. I did a flat one and a round one and set the camera at 92,000 feet and compared it to an image uh, that Victor got of one of the balloon launches at 92,000 feet. And we, we uh, combined the images just to see what it would look like off in the distance with the curve or as a flat Earth. Anyway, it was, it was pretty cool. We do a lot of VR. Um, See, yeah, I would, I would like to do a scale model of the moon, actually. Um, I'll have to look into that. It doesn't take long. The computer actually, or I should say Blender, actually has a difficult time handling that scale of the Earth. I know the moon's smaller, but it was able to do it, so that was awesome. Those are clouds. You guys can clearly see. There's a, we didn't have any clouds above us when we left. Jerry. There, you can see them there. Right there. That's a pretty shot. Yeah, it really you got me. I can't wait to see the actual image of that. God, oh, that's looking out. awesome. We're freaking getting this one back then. We need to roll then. Ideas are good. All right, guys, I'm gonna plug it. Hey, Andy, I'm gonna be back. With are you stuff. unplugging this feed here? Yep. Okay. We gotta start chasing this thing. We can't. Thanks, Lucas. All, all right, we're gonna go. Uh, right, guys. We're gonna go see if we can get this the balloon. Already, uh, what's the altitude now? Uh, I don't know. Some guys going up with a plane there. A barnstormer. That has nothing to do with the balloon, just so you're sure. Uh, just so you know. Look at that. How fun would that be? I can't see anything. Can you guys see my nose? I have any bats in the cave? Okay. Okay. All right, I think we, uh, are we just gonna stay live, Rob? You wanna stay live through the whole thing or do you wanna take off? PPJ. PPJ. Dash 11. Cap sensitive or not? No. Just hit, uh, no, that was clear. So hit search. Oh. Right. oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. So it'll pop up wow, and it'll update. I think it really is. It's booking, dude. Where's it going? But now, wait, can it this. come back though once it gets a certain height? Can it come back this way? <laughs> yeah, it ain't coming back today. We no. gotta go get it. Look okay. at that. Oh, sure, thank you. It's gone way. I don't know if you can see it on there. Is that Pennsylvania? It's south of 70, Highway 70. Oh, okay. In Hebron. I was like, is that in Pennsylvania already? No, not yet. Are you, are you, who are you? Me and Lucas both think it's going to come down close to Marietta somewhere. Marietta? Yep. Mm -hmm. So the way it's going, it, it shot... Uh, actually, it just went straight north. We were expecting it to go west and then head south some. That's east. No, it took off oh, southeast. Sorry. East, yeah. Yeah, east. I'm sorry. Sorry, no, I was going right. to... West. Start over, because it's... You, yeah. This is north, right where yep. the yep. side is at. Yep. Yeah, You're west. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's yeah, well, it's backwards to Facebook, too. Yep, yep. Okay. So, so, anyways, it went east. Yes. It's going to go south. It's cutting south hard keep, right now. Keep going south. It's at 81 mile per hour, so it's going to push real far. And then it's going to come down, go east again, so it looks like it's going to come down at Marietta. So we could end up in the mountains. We could easily end up in another state. We could end up in another state. Oh my gosh. So you can drop points, look at the map, Yeah. and drop points with using Google as you go, and just hit go. If people want to follow this on at home. APRS.FI. APRS.FI. And then it's KD8PPJ-11. KD8, somebody type this in real quick that's watching. KD8PPJ-11. They were laughing. Are you laughing at me or with me? Are you laughing at me or with me? I don't know. I'm just messing with you guys. There, that's it. Okay, there we go. All right, you guys type that in. That way you guys can follow it online. And then, uh, are we following you? Yeah. You want to just ride up with us? We are heading out there's here. Five, there's three of us. And We're going to go try five. and get the Let's balloon. Like That'll work. Got another touchdown and take him back off. I 
think that's how we should chase it down. Yeah, we should chase it in a launcher. I don't even think that thing won't even catch the balloon. If it's going 88 miles an hour, dude, we're gonna end up in we're gonna end up in Pennsylvania. I'm not kidding. Is this uh, is this everything? You got everything? Yep. All right, here we go. Watch your hands. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna take off and start going after this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Calculate yourselves up. Oh, Vic Victor, Victor, he doesn't want my YouTube channel to be successful. I love Tim's That's YouTube okay. Channel. I love Tim. He's, that's why he's there. All I care oh, about. We need to get that other balloon out of the sun. Uh, Brandon actually has that other balloon with him, I believe. Does They're going to go get that, that out of the sun. Right anyway, uh, as I was saying, all I care about is helping other people. So I want to help you guys. So <laughs> subscribing to my channel is not a bad thing, just so you know. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Yeah. See, even Victor, even Victor can uh, can admit that it's not a bad thing. Let's do the science test today, okay? Science test? We're doing a science test. This I'm trying to stay on topic here. I'm I'm sorry, Victor. <laughs> People are asking me questions off the wall. <laughs> so who's this? We got like a caravan rolling up. We got a bunch of people showing up. Undercover government people. Is it the cops? No. Oh no, it's Tyler. It's Tyler. Tyler from Michigan. Not sure uh, who this uh, other yeah. guy is. Sure. What? No. <clears throat> Lucas works here. Oh, he's Tyler. Here. So I, I, I am, <laughs> yeah, there's got to be an inf infiltrator here somewhere. It's definitely not me. You know, usually the person that says it's not me is the person. <laughs> it's the infiltrator, but I just confirmed I'm not because I told you what, what I just told you. All right. He's like, he's like, it's like an ad for Laura and Fitz every three seconds. <laughs> I did not advertise myself there. Someone said there's a CIA infiltrator, and I'm saying it's not me. That is not an advertisement for That's myself. That's exactly what a CIA infiltrator would say. That's what. Well, I said that, which which makes me non. We're going inclusive. All right, and we're off. <laughs> He's like, stop at that spot. <laughs> I'm. I'm sorry guys, I'm in the vehicle with a you bunch of guys who just, they don't, they can't take anything juice? seriously. Um, no, I don't, well, you probably I don't do. Here's just, we got two I, juice I am, juice I'm joking, they, they definitely oh, take a lot juice. seriously. Oh, that's a special just give. Special. We wouldn't be doing this balloon launch if they didn't take things seriously. <laughs> I won't use your juice. <laughs> this is seriously, this is like pure copper wire or something, it's like extra thick, so it actually charges like three times faster. I don't know, that's what they advertise. They should use silver wire. Victor is in full support of this copper wire you plug into your phone. Right, hurrah, we'll hurrah. Um, I know where to go for now. You know what? I've always had this dream of being an agent. Apparently, I'm only the agent to a sophisticated scheme. Why is my face? Without scheming. Alright, we're headed off down the road. Which direction is the balloon headed, Victor? The, the balloon is headed south. South, south by southeast. South, yes, south southeast. All right. The uh, the phone right now that I'm recording the live stream south, on southeast by east by quarter east. So it is. Has 41 percent <laughs> battery, so I think we, we might be good. I know. We should just be in a plane right we now. Should really get in a plane. I'm smoking. Out Can we get a Learjet? Tyler's like, oh my gosh. We can't get a Learjet. Uh, Fitz has two T's. It's F I T T S. But yes, Sorry, the first part is correct. <laughs> Few colors. Yes and no. Mario. Everybody says no. <laughs> the channel's actually not Lauren Fitz. The channel's Tim Holmes. But if you type in Lauren Fitz, it brings up my channel. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have failed. And people are asking, okay? <laughs> no.
<laughs> I'm sorry. I hired you to run my channel. <laughs> I'm running your channel. <laughs> As in, this is like an Alex Jones infomercial. <laughs> Guys, I feel like we're on the Big Shapiro show. <laughs> <laughs> and then this advertising, just like two minutes straight up Tim's channel on programming. You know what, guys? This is actually CNN. We're broadcasting live from the middle of Ohio, and we're bringing you up to date on the latest you know, lies and Ohio, provocations. There's, there's corn everywhere. <laughs> there's Trumpy Leaks. Trumpy Leaks. We're on a Russian lead. It's heading south of Newark. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's dead. Uh, no, I actually don't have one video. I got like almost 70 or something. Is he on the phone yet? Oh, he got my phone. Oh, he has your phone. I'm like sitting here wondering. I mean, he should have his phone. Oh. He should be live streaming through his That's why you can't track. Yeah, that's why I <laughs> I'm can't like track. sitting here like. Oh, we're trying to track the balloon? Yeah. I mean, sort of. We, we know the general direction for right now. General direction. Ooh. So here's the yeah, deal. Apparently, way, when we get close to the balloon, I'm really glad it's slowed down. It is. It's holding steady. When we get close to the balloon, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to shut off the live stream. Oh, you bet, Jerry. Thanks for checking it out. I hope it stays there for a little while. We need to catch this thing. And just just so you're aware, I do my uh, my YouTube channel. My character Lauren Fitz is actually a. I, I, I do a screwed up accent. It's it's not legit by any means, but it's it's for uh, entertainment purposes. Oh yeah, this thing's look way down. There is no way to stop that balloon from swinging like crazy. Nope. Dude, that thing was like out behind it. Well, see what you should do. What you're doing is Those attaching a square box. They didn't work at all. I'm sorry, our, I think we did. our arrow fins have worked way better. That's true, that's because it was ascending. Yeah, I'm telling, I, yeah. Yeah, we shared an arrow fins. We're getting ready to break 60,000. Getting ready to break 60,000 feet. Man, I, I, I am afraid we did not make that line long enough in between the parachute and the balloon. Okay, so here's a question. Why do we have, like, really any room between the parachute and the box? Why can't that pretty close to each other. Like, I don't know. Seven, they, seven, they always, feet? I don't know. They always say to do it. Gotcha. I, don't know. I am like super disappointed in those fins. <laughs> as soon as it just started whipping, I was like. Victor actually got the idea for those fins off of YouTube. Uh, there was a guy who I was created the happen. system because and. Uh, Think about it. Said they the worked pretty good. Um, we are chasing the balloon. This thing is traveling set at least 85 miles an hour at this point, heading southwest. Or, southeast. Uh, southeast, yeah, sorry, southeast. And Victor's ahead of us a little ways, but we could end up in another state. We could. I mean, this thing, the way that it's going, and just depends on how the jet stream's working. Uh, we could end up a lot further away. I think last time we got spoiled because it came down within, I think, what, 13 miles of our well, if that. destination. And I just said 13, just so you know. I said 13. <laughs> yeah. That was probably more like... 12.9 miles. How's that? I thought it was less than that. Well, road-wise. Oh, yeah. Right, so all we had to drive was like 13 and a half miles. So... But yeah, we're back back up and running here so we caught up to Victor oh, you, somebody's calling you. we're at 61,728 I don't know 61,728 feet oh, above Sam? the surface of the oh, earth you, you, we're gone sorry we, we rolled you, you, know, you know okay you know how to track it right this balloon is taken off on us big time and Victor knows the uh, he knows the routes to take uh, yeah you got that thank you yeah, you, you, let you, me you let drive. me drive. You drive. Victor knows the route to take. Uh, he's obviously up in front of us in the blue Oldsmobile, and then um, we're hopping on 37. It looks like here. We have no idea who's in front of us. They're part of our group, though, I believe. Well, it's kind of cool. It's drop. Last huh? place says drop. They're from Michigan. 
We have people from Michigan here? Wow, I thought we were the only out-of-staters. Couldn't tell you. All right, so... This will be interesting, man. I'm, I'm excited. I, want, I wonder how far this thing's gonna go. Maybe, maybe I'm not that excited to drive. This thing really could end up far, far away. I was gonna risk it. That galaxy far, far away. Hope the gimbal stays on this time. Well, the gimbal should. Uh, I mean, I checked it. He's got some pretty heavy duty zip ties securing it. Yeah. I still would have put a tracker on it, even though, I mean, he, I understand his reasoning behind not doing it because the kind of trackers that you, you put on it are, you got to be, their proximity. So you got to be pretty close to them to begin with, from what I understand. Yeah, but still, you'd have a signal that'd take you right to it, maybe. Yeah. Well, it's their money. It's their yeah, 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 yeah. It's their money, their toys. Well, I'm just so, thinking in case we ever do it. In case we ever do it ourselves. Yeah. Although you know, I don't know if I would use a gimbal. I mean, I think the gimbal's pretty cool. I mean, it keeps a nice straight shot and all that. Yeah. I don't know. Uh. Yeah, if it's gonna stay close by, but after so long, the gimbal went out. If it gets out of range, and you can't control it. Anymore. Well, the the gimbal, no. He's got it. He's got a program to if it loses if he loses signal with it it auto defaults to back to the that straight. point it was like point zero three degrees or something or point three degree tilt but it's straight out yeah it, yeah it, the the only the first time what happened was they they lost power to the gimbal and so it just you know it went limp but he's got plenty yeah, of power straight. he's got plenty of power to it so as as long as he has power to it. Theoretically, it's supposed to hold whatever the pre-programmed setting was. Okay. Which is what it was when we launched. It was like that, like a 0.3 degree tilt or something like that. So. I'm wondering, uh, what's the mileage at now? I mean, do we know how far it's traveled? You know, I can't, I can see what it's doing, but I can't tell what the, what the reading is. Like, you know. I, I can't tell altitude or speed. I mean, I guess you can on this thing. I just don't know how to do it. I'll be doing a battery in line. I suppose it should be good. It's not, it's not even too much of It hasn't really moved a whole lot further south than... Of course, you guys have seen this backwards. 68,000 somebody said oh good you guys are checking it cool thanks guys uh, you guys we'll, we'll rely on you now this is cool everybody's I'm, in, yeah I'm everybody, driving I can't everybody's involved now so yeah you guys you guys got the information so you guys have to keep us informed uh, let us know what, what the altitude is 68,000 already wow I mean it's we, we, we haven't even been up an hour yet yeah because it went up 815 is that what it was somebody that's what somebody said about 815 you know, I said to myself, don't forget to mark launch time. And got caught up in the moment again, forgot. It happens, man. Hate it when that happens. <laughs> well, the beautiful thing about this is that we've been able to see a lot of Ohio. <laughs> We're getting the grand tour of Ohio. The Columbus area, definitely. It is gorgeous out here, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. This is good motorcycle driving location out here. Like on a Sunday afternoon where there's hardly any traffic, hopefully. Oh, yeah. So we don't know. <coughs> so Victor's up ahead of these folks. Yeah, that's that's Victor and that car up there. Yeah. The if my calculations are correct, we'll be hitting maximum velocity in three seconds. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm a voice actor. I do that stuff. Just hang in there. Still 3,300. That was a two minute difference though, if I'm not mistaken. 907, 28, 9, nope. Oh my gosh. Last time, I mean, we didn't even start, we didn't even get in the car until after it popped. Now, is Brandon and Josiah both in there, or did Brandon go home? Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I think Brandon might have been taking the uh, hydrogen canisters back. Oh, I heard okay. him say something about that. Okay. To somebody else. And we used a full, just so you guys know, uh, on the science part of this, 
Uh, last time we only used about, I think, what they what they say, just a little <clears> under <throat> a full tank. So we actually used the remnants of that tank in this balloon, and then used another full tank in this balloon. Yeah, I think they filled it like to 80% of recommended capacity or something last time. And then I guess Victor went on and a bunch of sites and that one guy, um, Daryl or Derek or something like that. Uh, were you on with us on the Google Hangout when he showed us that other, or did you, you no. haven't been on yet? Uh, I, I guess before I you was... came on, anyway, he showed me some other guy that I guess does this professionally and has done a lot of trial and error. And so from what I understand, the configuration that Victor went with for this launch was based on the trial and error of another guy on YouTube. And I guess he talked to several people and including the, the balloon manufacturer, I guess, Okay. that said you want to fill it like to whatever 20% more or so than we had before. And that gives it more and lift. If, well, it gives it greater lift and it goes up faster, but also, um, you know, you guys saw the, the last time that balloon that most of the rubber was still there. I mean, it had just wrapped itself 68,000 feet. Mindy, thank you. Now it's over 68,000. Uh, the balloon had, it popped, but most of the material was still there and it had wrapped itself around the, the, ropes. the ropes. And so he showed some videos of when you fill it up more the way you're supposed to, I guess. And when it expands beyond that, it, it literally just shreds. Yeah. So there's very little rubber material left of the balloon when it comes back down. So I believe that's what he was going for. So if that's the case, then hopefully there won't be nearly as much drag or violence done to the payload <laughs> on its way down. <laughs> I mean, you got to figure that not. that payload took a beating on the way down last time. Oh, man. Well, it's like we, none of us could see the ropes. It just looked like all balloons. Yeah, the whole thing was rubber balloon all over the place. I was thinking it was going to head out to where we but That's where it's supposed to go. But if it keeps on stalling here, and if it backtracks, well, then we can hit that. Like, it backtracked last time. It did. It did. Oh, God. Is there a reason you guys have the windows open? Because it's nice. Yeah, I just, I still want to send a shout out to, to Brandon and Brandon and the other brand, not and, yeah. Well, well, both brands. Well, both brands. And, and Big B, you can get a shout out too, man. Yeah. And all the guys hanging out watching right now. I know that some of those guys are watching right now as we speak. So yeah. Uh, and good morning, babe. If you're watching, my wife's watching. And hey, yeah. and hey, Sheila. Yeah, likewise. Whoa. Hey, honey. I hope you're watching. And I, uh, she might not be awake yet. I'm glad I'm watching <laughs> when we're going. I just about put the front end of this into an escape. Yeah. Why don't you Why don't you watch the road? <laughs> we'll be documenting our. <laughs> Smashing of uh, oh, this nice, Why is he an airbag? This <laughs> nice <laughs> used new car. <laughs> yeah, this thing is awesome. Yeah, they, they let us use a uh, nice Denali. It's a beautiful vehicle. Yeah, it's only got seventy-eight thousand miles. And if you would like to find out more about this vehicle, <laughs> you can go to rbcarcompany.com, where they've got over five hundred vehicles to choose from. Voted Indiana's number one independent volume dealer and the seventh largest in the nation. Uh, they buy smart so you can save money. There, there you go. go. Is that, a, is that it? Th yeah, this, this episode of Balloon Chaser is brought to you by... I can't say. Oh, them. Those, those, <laughs> those guys. cool guys that got us... Uh, that this, website the, I just said. Rewind it. This, this they gave cool. us a vehicle to use because they knew we were going to be doing this and they wanted us to do it. And they... they uh, well, they, they believe in what we're doing as far as trying to find the answer. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with questioning what you've been told. There's nothing wrong with finding out the answers for yourself rather than going to a source or googling it you know make it happen and uh that's you know when you called me a couple years ago when this whole thing started it was over two years ago right yep. yeah yeah we started we started looking into this about the same time and where we were and what we were working on at that point but, yeah we were what working we're on a seed a seed audio drama actually we had just finished we Part literally just two. finished well the yeah Ep yeah, episode two, yeah, of the seed audio drama, which if you guys have never seen that, you want to well listen to it. Yeah, you could go to uh, seedtheseries.com forward slash audio drama dot html, and uh, 
This is the guy that did the uh, narration for that, and he also played Sergeant First Class Pierce and Master Sar Sergeant Calhoun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Calhoun. Yeah, what was that line that kept was, screwing me is up? Is that Victor? No, that's not Victor. No. Okay. I was like, no! No, no! <laughs> I think we're yeah, going left here. We're getting on to 37. We're heading east, the man. Blind leading the blind if we get lost out here. But yeah, I mean, once this flatter stuff, if it ends, I mean, who knows where we go next, what, what our next test is. I know we're wanting to do a canal test, but we're working on that. I did find a three-mile-long canal near uh, where I live in northern Indiana. Yeah, yeah, way cool. Uh, we may be able to actually uh, redo Dr. Samuel Robidum's experiment. Wow, 73,526. Man, this thing is cranking up there. Oh, was that your phone, Rob? Yeah, just dropped it. Man down. Man, Man down. down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we had just finished episode two. Yep. Taking a little bit of a break, and I, actually we started working on episode three. Um, I yeah, had, we're doing some script stuff. Right? Well, we did some scripting. I had you doing a little bit of voiceover on it. I actually had... Uh, the um, actress that was playing Jessica come in to do her lines. So I've got maybe 30% of episode three done when uh, got sidetracked on this crazy rabbit hole from hell. I, you know what though? I can say this. I've really enjoyed it. And the funny thing is, is there there's a lot of people out there that, and they still, there's people right now that are making, you know, watching is probably thinking what what is this all about well some people call me crazy there's been a lot of fringe elements i've touched base on uh a lot of people say well you don't need to know that stuff you don't need to stop right there i'm on my path you be on yours and if i'm questioning things and, and looking at things and not just taking the status quo of what we've been taught through a a mandated by the government type of education system or picked by somebody else rather than allowing you or myself to think for ourselves or even tell people that critical thinking is not allowed. Critical thinking should never be dismantled in any way, shape, or form. And so what we're doing is with our critical thinking going, well, wait a minute, could they, could they have lied about the lunar landings? With me doing audio video, I can get the highest resolution, highest quality video, put that up on my screen, and I can go frame by frame and look at each individual shot. That's not me going, I'm out to prove this. I'm, I've got an agenda. It's me going, I want to look at what this is. And when the moon dust fell faster than the guys, over and over again, some things went off in my head. And that was years ago. But then when we started looking at the whole flat earth thing, the whole Lake Michigan thing came up, where I told you I could see across Lake Michigan. You know, my whole life, you can see across Lake Michigan. Well, when you start doing the math, the math doesn't work. The math doesn't work at all. At all. I mean, if they have the math wrong from this level, how can they have it right up here? And I don't I don't worry about the sun, the moon, the stars. People say, well, the, the planets are all round. The planets are all round. I'm not, I'm looking at this. I'm standing That's right moving here. the goalpost. Yeah. Well, you know, we're trying to figure out the shape and nature of the earth and the everybody planet. wants to deflect to the sun, moon, and stars. And I get it. I mean, I there, there's good reason to look at those things, but let's figure out what this place is first. Yeah, exactly. And my, my whole thing is... Uh, I want to give a shout out to... Um, oh, I forgot her name already. Uh, <laughs> Ka, Ka, was it? Sunshine. Sunshine. Ka, Ka, what's her first name? Uh, Kylie? Car Curly? No. Curly Sunshine? No. Curly is it Carly Sunshine? Carly Sunshine, maybe. I think so. I'm sorry if I'm uh, butchering the name. I can't think of it now, but she's pictures. got. She. Go ahead, keep going, Rob. Keep going. What's he doing? I think they're just discussing who's taking the lead. Okay. I think it's Carly. Carly Sunshine. You're right. Um, C R L E E. Yeah, she's got a really cool video uh, that Jaronism mirrored as part of a response to something that. Um, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson did. Anyway, what it what she did was she took a plate. We're at oh we're at seventy eight thousand one hundred sixty eight. Sweet. So she took a plate in a pool and just 
move the plate into the water like she just moved it like that and this is the, the yeah people always ask about the Coriolis effect and all that and why does storm spin one way in one you know the so-called northern hemisphere and the other way it's in the so-called southern hemisphere and I've been saying for quite a while if Tesla was right and the ancients were right that there is a, an ether that the Sun and moon are moving through yeah. then it's just like if you take your finger and you know in the bathtub or something and you you know move your finger if, let's say you got a bubble bath or whatever and you move your fingers through the water it creates a vortex on both sides of your finger spinning different ways yeah and what she did it was, it was a nice sunny day I guess you know the Sun was pretty much directly overhead it looked like and she just took a plate and moved it across the water in the pool like that and it created two whirlpool swirlies going spinning in opposite directions right beside each other parallel like and they just went right across the pool and uh, for several minutes I guess they just and the way the Sun was uh, shining overhead it made the swirlies appear as like these black uh, circles on the bottom of the pool swirling you know one to the left and one to the right sure it has no need for the earth to be a ball spinning and rotating or anything like that 79,000 feet we're about to hit 80 you know it's a heavier payload than we had last time I'm hoping I'm hoping we get to at least a hundred thousand anything above that's gonna be bonus in my mind we got to 118,000 last time yeah um, anyway, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, to that video because it's stuff like that. I mean, everybody gets in this mindset, oh, that's the way it is, that's, and there's no other plausible explanation. It's like, well, wait a minute. What if you took a minute and thought about it? it uh, what I've found more often than not is there's never just one, only one answer right. to a lot of these questions. Like, the, you see these videos, 10 proofs. 10 proofs we know the earth is a globe and the first time I saw that video was I wasn't even into this I don't even think a month yet maybe two or three weeks and I'm looking at the top 10 reasons why we know the earth's a globe right and immediately I just said well what if I flip the board and then what I meant by that was you know I like to play chess and like if Rick and I were playing chess I want to get into his head I want to get into his head. I want to know why did he make that move? Was that a strategic move? Was that a stupid move? Does he see an opening? Did I make a stupid move? What's he doing? If I can view the chessboard from his side of the table, you know, then I can have a better idea of what he's doing and, you know, plan my strategy better. So basically, what I mean by flipping the board is okay, at that time, I still hardcore believed in the expanding globe, Neil Adams model of the expanding globe. I was a hardcore believer in that. I even taught a, 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 a seminar on it in December of 2014. So here it is, April of 2015, you know, just a few months later, and I'm going, okay, let's pretend I'm a hardcore flat earther. How could I combat these 10 alleged proofs of the globe? And I found that it was actually pretty easy, real easy, for at least seven or eight of them. At least seven or eight of them were really easy to flip the board on. Two of them were, uh, th the two actually that I had a hard time with at that time were the Coriolis effect yep. and uh, the lunar eclipse. And I think the, the ether perfectly explains the Coriolis effect. There's a lot of things that people call the Coriolis effect that really, it's not there. Right. Like the whole idea of uh, long range shooters having to adjust because of this. the Earth is spinning so fast in one second underneath a speeding bullet. That the target moves out of the way. But uh, that is bugs like, are immune to it. Yeah, uh, yeah, and, and helicopters. Yeah. Like when I was a helicopter pilot, when you learn how to fly helicopters, you the first thing you learn how to do is to hover, and you have to be able to master the three foot hover. So you spend a lot of time at three feet above the earth, just just trying to get that you know from the helicopter moving yeah, all over the place. Were you bringing the no, I never had to follow the moving earth, yeah, exactly. and the and the airfield never left, you know, from under me, ever. Which you know, if you're sitting there in a three foot hover, if the, if the theory is that the bullet has left the earth, and so it's free from the effects of the earth, such that the earth spins underneath it, so you have to adjust, so the target, you know, as yeah. it's moving, that's patently absurd. You know, it doesn't work that way for frisbees, footballs, ladybugs, helicopters, or airplanes. Right. 
So, I mean, a lot of these arguments... Oh, your phone's got low battery here, dude. It's okay. Um, It'll plug in. It'll plug this thing in. Here, dude. Oh, yeah, here. Oh, it's, it's 20%. Just hit close. Yeah. Well, it's going to close everything if I hit no, close. No. You sure? Yeah. I think it's going to hit everything. Okay. Trust me. Seems like every time I do that on my phone, it just sh shuts the phone down. Yeah. Of course, on my oh, phone... Here. Plug into this one. Uh, we'll use my battery thing. Hang on. Sorry, guys. But anyway, uh, what, what Rob was saying about the Coriolis effect, the other thing, too, is you have to look at the programming that we've received. Uh, like, for instance, I remember specifically watching uh, or reading a, an Iron Man comic book when I was a kid, and there was no Coriolis effect inside the globe, inside the dome, inside the uh, underneath the uh, Van Allen belt or whatever, or the ozone. It's when he shot up through and went into quote unquote space, then the earth moved out from underneath him and he was able to get from one point to the other point a lot faster because he used the earth's rotation rather than taking off. And that's something that was programmed into my mind. So I naturally, I believe that stuff because it's in the comic book. It's what's taught in the textbooks. It's all of it. But when you test it, there are other variables. And that's when you know the folks that are saying, oh, this is stupid or this is dumb, yeah, they haven't yeah. sat down to think about other plausible reasons for how things yes, can work. That's exactly right. And I, and I understand. A lot of people don't want to think that much. A lot of people say, I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to Well, for whatever, for whatever reason, God's put that on my heart to test these things and to tell the truth. That's what I'm not out to try and make anybody mad. Rob's not out to make anybody mad. Trust me, this is not, uh, this is not going to win you any popularity contests by coming out and saying, I'm a biblical earther. I do believe it's a lot more flat than it is a sphere, especially with what we've tested. Only because the, one of the main things I've looked at is the property of water. Uh, you know, when I look at this and I see a mirrored image on water, how can, how can you have flat water if gravity's real? If gravity is constantly pinpointing from this angle, 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 this angle water should never be able to plane out or water's immune from gravity. And especially in a canal like a like the Suez Canal over 100 miles long, it should not be level. Now, speaking of the canal, we mentioned that earlier. He's yeah. he's found an area near where he lives that has what's three point what miles? Three point four miles. Three, long. So it's over three miles long, and it's a straightaway. So what we what we're planning on doing it needs it's got some shrubbery and trees and stuff growing in it, small stuff that needs to be cleared out. But um, probably later when it gets cooler, later in the year. Uh, but what we want to do is we both have the Nikon Coolpix P900 cameras. So we'll, we'll, set, we'll both set our cameras up just a couple inches off the water. Um, I'll be on one end and he'll be on the other. And if we can zoom in and see each other, there ain't no curve. Because there should be over six feet, over six feet of curvature. two inches. Well, over that if it's... That's 3.4, yeah, yeah, yeah. 3.4. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So, well, and the other thing is, I talked to a guy that um, I was just—I was actually—I called him to find out if he knew of a place. And immediately, he's like, "Well, what are you trying to do? Is this that flat Earth stuff?" And I'm like, "Yeah." Like, well, I, I, I disagree. I'm like, I wasn't calling to debate it. I don't care. I'm just asking about something. The the thing is, is what it came down to is I was wanting to know first and foremost if anybody, if, number one, if I could get a laser for like a surveyor. I'd love to be able to do that, to do a transit shot. The other side of that is, I just wanted to find a canal, but the first thing he said is, there's fall. There's gonna be fall in a waterway, in a, in a canal. I'm like, well, what determines the fall? Nobody can answer that. What determines the fall? Well, it wouldn't even be, you, it first, be first, first you gonna have, gonna be first you're gonna have to have a climb, because we we, we're looking at the, according to Metabunk and all those websites, we are all, we never look, we can never look straight out. We are always looking down at the hump. No matter what way you go, you're, you're always down. looking down at the hump. That's the bulge between you and the other end. So the water then would have to go up the bulge first and then come down the other end of the bulge. Yeah. Of course, what everybody will say then is, ah, oh, you just found a plateau of land that's perfectly flat where the, can where the canal is because you can't win. There's no way to yeah. win. Wow, we're at 90,000... What is it? Shaking. 90,000 feet. 90,000 looks like 555. 90K. 
Well, I, I, my hope and prayer was that we get to a minimum of 100, so looks like we're on our way. We're now crossing Highway 70. 70. Okay, so we are now crossing Highway 70. Let me look at the, okay, Highway 70. I need you guys to help make Victor famous. He wants to be famous. <laughs> That is your goal. <laughs> Literally, that's your life goal. Do you guys see how Victor always points the blame to someone else? I mean, you guys should take note of this. I'm just, I'm, I'm messing with him. Don't. <laughs> wow. 91.9. All right, they want to keep the stream on. I'm keeping it on, guys. Keep it on. Okay. As long as you guys like it. Dude, this thing is heading. Where's it going? Where the fuck it? Is it? Is it really? It's at, where's it heading? Where's it heading? <coughs> it's heading not going to the lake. lake. Yeah, it's not because once it hits, it's well, going to pop. As soon as it, it, it pops and hits the jet wing, it's going to hit south. It's going to be like on the other side of Thornville. All right. It's heading towards the lake, but they're I saying really, it's not going to go in the lake. I don't know if it'll hit New Lex or not. Yeah, it's going to head west for the whole descent. It's heading southwest, so. No way, I hope not. We, we had the arrow. But yeah, I, guess, I, I guess my whole thing is, guys, I don't want anybody to think that I'm being... Uh, um, brash or anything, but man, I'm, I get I get tired of hearing the same arguments that that are coming from people that haven't looked, and they, they haven't they haven't actually taken the time just to sit down and go, wait a minute, is it possible? It's always the excuse is, oh, that's just absurd, that's just stupid. Okay. Ninety one thousand three ninety five, headed west towards Route thirteen. You guys are on it. Thank you. This is awesome. We, we got a we whole are, bunch of people out there tracking for this us. This is awesome. It's a group effort. Yay! Yeah, group effort. 93, 176. I feel like that's 35 like, miles per hour. I feel like us being the balloon Zanesville. chasers, they're, uh, that's our dispatch. Yeah, dispatch, dispatch the balloon chasers. Dispatch the balloon chasers. <laughs> Head back to a courting at 3805. Headed west parallel to 70. <laughs> So, so yeah. it looks like we're going to go east. To, look, I'm guessing we're going to go to Zanesville and then pick up 22. This is what it looks like up here. How parallel was it running to 70? Uh, it's it's sort of parallel and, well, it's almost exactly parallel now. To 70? In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it starts heading north again. Why'd you come back? Did we leave premature? Oh, there's another road that's uh, that they're probably going to catch. It's right where this turn of the balloon is. Maybe that's highway, looks like 668. Heading towards Somerset. Somerset. 94,000. Yeah, we will put it on YouTube eventually. Uh, what I'll probably do is the same thing as I did last time, is try to cut together a, um, uh, a condensed version, you know, so you guys don't have to sit through the whole thing again. <laughs> Listen to us rambling on for two hours in a yeah. car. Yeah. Oh, we wanted to watch balloons. We got two idiots in a car. You did get balloons. You got a couple airheads. Yeah, you got a couple of balloon head, airhead, knucklehead. Well, just look as you're hanging out with us. Yeah, you guys are hanging out in the car with us. We're not even using Google Hangouts. We're just using Love Google. you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Pittsburgh Buckeye. Buckeye. I'd go to Pittsburgh. 95,007. Man, this thing is cruising up there. 95,000? Now? It was just 91,000 a minute ago? It was 93. We're at 95. So I just shot up 2,000 feet in a couple minutes. Hey, Robbie Davidson. What's up, dude? Kevin. What's up, Robbie? Shout out. Yeah, this is uh, quite the adventure. We do more before 9 a.m. than most people do all day. That's what they used to say in the Army. I, I but well, now we're doing it in balloon chasers. Oh, we didn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't really done anything. <laughs> a couple, couple of idiots watching lawn, lawn chairs fly up into the sky. <laughs> now we're driving around the Buckeye State. <laughs> uh, oh, Mom, I hope you're proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> this is what my education got me. Sure glad I quit college. 
<laughs> Me too. That that whole thing was well overrated. Ninety-seven thousand. Statement. Ninety-six nine nine six. Woohoo! You got a pee yet? Man? I have to pee. I, 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 can, I can't hold it. Should we send an SOS to? <laughs> no, I'm good. Victor, slow down. Roger, Dodger. Check your vector, Victor. There. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I did earlier. That was, <laughs> that was regular. Get, get, that that was, get that away from me. <laughs> well, there's some people in this community that would be drinking that, but not, not one of them. <laughs> David, David, David Moore. Moore. David yeah. Moore out there. Where you at, yeah. David? Hey, look. That's David thing. snatched out of my hands and give me that. They, they say it's actually supposed to be really good for you, but I'll, uh, at the, uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see Dumb and Dumber? Yeah. Remember when they peed the bottle? <laughs> remember the reaction? Yeah. Well, I, remember, I don't think I, I remember one time in camp. <laughs> I had my friend Reggie. Uh, Reggie, if you're out there, he may be watching. Uh, Reggie's a good friend of mine. We were He was like Tubbs and I was Crockett, you know. But he... Um, <laughs> we somebody took a leak in a metal yellow can, oh, and, he, and he thought it. He he grabbed it, thinking it was his. Why took a big they, took a big swig of mellow why, yellow. Why did they pee in the mellow yellow can? I don't know. <laughs> That's what you do so at camp. That's what you do at camp. You know. They leave it sitting. <laughs> leave it sitting, <laughs> waiting for somebody to grab it. <laughs> I remember his reaction. It was <laughs> too. Of course, maybe it was because he thought it was mellow yellow, <laughs> but it was it was yellow, but it wasn't so mellow. Uh, that's, that's when you would see the camera running. Oh man! Oh, was, and we didn't. That's yeah, the disclaimers. We're not giving anybody any ideas. <laughs> yeah, we're not, not to give anybody any ideas. <laughs> we're drinking mellow yellow anyway. Yeah, mellow yellow is not any good for you. <laughs> yeah, when you go for it, you, you, you think that you're getting a can of pop or soda, and it turns out to be salty bitter. Yeah. <clears throat> he was getting his minerals. Hence, hence the, the facial expression on Dumb and Dumber when the guy drinks the, bear, the bottle right. of beer or right. bottle of pee. I wonder if Dave Moore makes that face when he drinks it, though. I wonder if he does a... Yeah, well, maybe one of those things you just get used to after a while, but... <laughs> Sorry. And we're back. And we're back. All right. I enjoyed that. Now we're at Highway 13. So if any of you guys are watching out there and you happen to live in Ohio, somewhere in this area, you can come join the hunt. I put the link to the, um, what is it, APR or APS or something, whatever the... What, did it pop? Yeah, it popped. It popped. It, it popped. It's didn't descending. Even, it didn't even hit 100. We hit were 100, just shy of 100,000 feet. Well, 100,000 recorded feet. Recorded feet. We're a little. It's a little disappointing. Are you serious? I'm, I'm an idiot. I should have underfilled it. <laughs> <laughs> the wind couldn't have just blown it down. You bought. You bought one of the the t-shirts. Who was wearing the black t-shirt in the last launch, Victor? Was that you? <laughs> That's Corey. Corey. What was on that t-shirt? This thing is falling like a rock. Like, uh, the balloon is falling like a rocket. Uh, the parachute may have not It doesn't open it. Opened. Yeah, it doesn't it's open. in a denser atmosphere. Oh yeah, it has to be in a denser atmosphere, oh, so. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we had we were watching the live stream uh, through the monitor earlier. The signal wasn't that great. Hopefully I can post this uh, live stream at the end and you can go back and rewatch it. It yes, if we if we get a really good uh, if we get a really good image, it should be enough to see the curve if there's anything. Directly over Like directly over Should be enough. But it's not gonna fall. Could. No, it looks like it's 83,000 and it's already it's passed. It's 83,000? That was like, it's a mile a minute. Dude, I'm telling you, this thing is dropping. Where are we at now? Oh, it's descended? Oh no. 83. It's dropping. It popped. So I guess it popped. 
Uh, is anybody? Uh, it's at 83, so it's coming down. Is it confirmed? Yeah, several people have posted it. 80, so it's coming down. Oh, and Victor's speeding up now. Yeah, <clears throat> so recoverable? They should. I mean, I can. Boy, I'm really up. hoping we get this footage. Um, <laughs> That's way too fast, man. That thing is falling right way here. too fast. Okay, great. If you guys are out there, if you could figure out what the max altitude was, that'd be awesome. I think you can just click on the little dots. It's kind of hard for me to do that on the phone. So, yeah, it's dropping. 99 was the top height. Oh, I wanted 100. That's close. You can round it, probably. Yeah, 99 and change, probably. Once it hits 51,000, you can say. It was a heavier payload, so I knew it wasn't going to get a whole lot higher. 99, that's not bad. That's 29,000 higher than Mythbusters. Yeah. We're going to try to catch a balloon that's falling at the speed of <coughs> the Millennium Falcon when its engine dies. Plans for the fourth launch, Victor. Any plans for the fourth launch? We have no plans. No plans for the fourth launch. Uh, we're going to go out to lunch for the fourth launch. We got plans for the laser test next. We are do yes, we're doing the laser test next. Um, the fourth launch is going to be, oh, it's going to take some planning. Up. Yeah, the balloon probably popped on the, on the Actually, dome. I just. It was rupturing and that's why it started descending so fast. No, I mean, you don't. The only reason we put the fisheye lens the on top of the box was because, just for the heck of it, we had an extra gimbal, and we're like, let's just put an extra one on there, just for the view. It just dropped 10,000 feet. It might have been two minutes, though. Parachute has not deployed yet. Can you guys confirm it's headed to It's headed to a lake, dude. Is it really? Fairfield Beach. Sweet. Buckeye, it's Buckeye Lake. It's gonna hit the Buckeye Lake. So you make it to go swimming after all. I'm going in the water. Yeah. I didn't eat anything either, so I don't have to wait 20 minutes. <laughs> I think that's a urban myth. It is. It's 21 minutes. <laughs> I, always, I never paid attention. I used to go swimming whenever I felt like it. This is an exciting it. moment in history, um, I, possibly. I I mean, uh, satellite. When you get into Thornville, okay, you're going to hang a right. right. You're going to hang a right. It's 204. It's running parallel to 204, like 100 feet off. Hey, okay. hey, Victor. Yeah. Is this laser test going to be similar to the one they did on Globebusters? No, totally different. This laser test is totally different than the one they did on Globebusters. Yes, we definitely want the bottom GoPro to be to be in good shape. We want to be. We at least want the uh, SD card to be recoverable. Trust me. Yes. That is very important. Well, hey, the bright side is if the balloon burst and we developed it, it'll keep the GoPros from flying off. That's true. <laughs> right now, we need an angel to like surround that bottom GoPro so it survives. All right. Are we um, actually, this is a stream right here. It says it's directly over the stream. Right now? About, yeah, right now. Uh, it says like it's directly yard over yard. this stream okay. we just passed it's right now. Like, yeah, pull off. And uh, we'll just kind of cruise alongside until we see it. Oh, is he pulling over? Is he pulling over already? It can't be down already. It can't be. I'm going to keep an eye on We're not there already. There's What's the altitude, guys? They're slowing down like it's coming. I'll hand it to you when, uh, if it can't be down. Already. What's this over here? What is that? What's, uh, what's that over there? Huh? Is that a bird? That's a bird. It, the things can't be, can't, it can't be. Turn our lights on. Man. What's the altitude, guys? Oh, I think they're just looking for a road. 72,000. Yeah, we, we I don't know why they're slowing down. We we've we got 72,000 feet to go. This 
probably gonna take a while for it to come down. Oh, it's 60,000 already. Yeah. So it's still dry. I don't think the parachutes. Turn around. It's not a spot to turn around. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Hold on, guys. Oh boy. I'm about to do a 50 point turn. It is falling like a rock, dude. Yep. It's out here somewhere. Right over there. Somewhere. It's like right over there. Oh, We're getting repositioned. There. It's falling uh, <laughs> over in this direction somewhere. What is he doing? Okay. Hopefully I can get boring. this on camera. And it's going to be, it might be really? in the middle of yep. a cornfield. Because we got cornfields surrounding us. We also have... Really? Yep. I believe we, it's either alfalfa yeah. or uh, beans. Uh, we might actually need to go out to 13. Serious? Yep. It looks oh, like it caught shoot. the jet stream. It looks like the parachute opened right in the middle of that jet stream. Looks um, like the parachute hey, parachute did open. It slowed down. It was falling like a rock and it just like stopped. Yeah, we saw that. Like it was faster than it's ever gone. Do you think it's going back up? What? <laughs> no, it popped, right? It was like right at hundred, whatever. Yeah, it was 98, 99.8 something. Right. We'll go out there first. Alright. Okay. There you go. Uh, the other night, uh, me and my wife were coming home from Walmart, and there was a no craters. There was a asteroid in the sky that was ten times brighter than the brightest star. And my, I asked my wife, and she was like, "Yeah, I would agree. It was ten times brighter." And that thing was moving slow, like it was like it was in the sky for like four <laughs> seconds flat. It was awesome. Dude, if the parachute opened, I would be so happy. I'm pretty sure it did because it slowed down a lot. It could have. Sometimes it'll update like in 30 seconds, but still it slowed down compared to what it was. I am so glad that chute opened. I really hope both gimbals are still attached. Again. Shoot. It's 35. Yeah, don't speak here. Ooh. Uh, how Do fast are we over, dropping? Else. <laughs> <Too black. laughs> See ya! The time it's here so is 9.46 a.m. We did we had success in underfilling it. We do. We currently do not have a visual feed from the cameras. Uh, we will. We will have that when we recover the balloon. And we do not have a monitor or a um, or an antenna with us. We left that back at the shop where we launched the balloon. This will come out the 13th. It's cruising. It is cruising. It did slow down. It slowed down a lot. Okay. Uh, it's, it's we're trying it's to figure out which direction it's oh, going because the air, air, uh, oh, parachute has opened. What's it at? What, what was, like, what's it at right now? 50,000. So... What, yeah, big time difference. Um, we got 58 people watching the stream. Oh, All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is this? Oh, Victor, they knew you were coming through here. They're at, they're on to us, man. Just 59 people, all right. Hey, uh, if you guys are using that, uh, that APRS.FI, um, there's a feature on there if you're using it, like if you're on the internet using it, uh, I can't see it on the phone, but if you, uh, I know if you're using it like in your browser on a computer, there's a, uh, feature on the right hand side in the menu on the right side where you can export the data and then import it into Google Earth and on Google Earth it looks really cool oh, because it's all in, it's all in 3d yeah yeah so you can you can track it in in real time on Google Earth using that data so I thought we were gonna have to go back east man uh, no, it's still heading west. Although, you know what? It just started, it turned. It's heading southeast again. It's doing like a Z pattern here. It caught that. The same wind pattern again. Yeah. 50,000 feet. You know what, somebody, I got to bring this up. Somebody tried to say that the last test that we did when the balloon went up and went out and it went one direction and then it caught the upper uh, atmosphere and it came back. They're trying to say that that was proof of the Coriolis effect. And I... I believe that it's that same swirling effect. No. What uh, Carly found in her video. Yeah, it would have been just a jet stream or jet stream. All right, so this is it, guys. We're actually uh, making this happen. 
halfway down and it's heading southeast again. Well, at least we're getting back into crop territory instead of yeah, it's a town. You know, we don't want it to come down and populated area. Zion Road. Beautiful countryside though. Yeah. I'll tell you what, anybody who claims that the earth is overpopulated, <laughs> they apparently have never been outside of a city. There is a lot of wide open land, especially, you know, just get in the air, start flying. You can see a lot of open land. Not nowhere near even close to capacity. No, I remember reading something somewhere that like the entire population of the world fit Texas. would fit in Texas. Yeah, yeah. with like, read, read the like two square feet around them. And or that's something without like double that. stacking. Yeah, right, exactly. So 42,672 feet. Sorry, I didn't mean to jam on the brakes there. A little touchy. Cool. What is that? Let's move the gas pedals away from my foot so it's not so close. Really? Yeah. You can actually move the gas the pedal? The gas pedal and brake pedal will go slide back will and slide? forth. slide? Yeah, they just moved away from my foot, so now they're way out here. Well, that's crazy. Now I gotta brake back a little bit because I'm short. Fancy schmancy. Shout out to all you guys. Thanks for watching the stream. We're looking forward to the results. It's going to be awesome. We're going to get some amazing footage. I really hope we get some amazing footage. These things have got 40,214. I don't know how much it costs, Rob. We got it for free. No, I thought you said 40,000. No, that's. that's oh, what the, the altitude, altitude is. The altitude is 40,000. Maybe new. I don't know. It's. It's in the inventory, though. RBcarcompany.com. <laughs> RBcarcompany.com. See, we're on Highway 13. That proves we're all Freemasons. <laughs> it's traveling at 33 miles per hour and about to land on Highway 13. At 933? 1033? Uh, yeah, 9-11. Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, 10-11. Past that. Look at this. 11.9. You can see that though. Come to the bridge. See that thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's cool. It's not every day you have a. It's like pull a covered bridge on the property. Tell you what, if you want to get away from it and relax, this is a, this is one of the spots. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Beautiful it's, day. It's the hills. The hills 70 nice. degrees and sunny. Yeah. Mm. Nice day. Oh yeah, happy belated birthday, man. Oh, thanks. I didn't call you. That's right. Were we on the lake on your birthday that day, or was it the day? I after? think it, I think it was my birthday was the day after we did the lake. So I think we did, I think we did it on the twenty fifth. I'd have to look. I can't remember. I don't think we're on the lake. I heard we went to uh, Christos on your birthday though. Didn't yeah, we? I think so. Yeah, and then we were like, oh, we gotta go back there and eat. And there was one like two blocks from where you were staying. <laughs> I didn't know it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right, so now we're getting out here. 35,000 feet, so we're at cruising altitude. I'd like it to get through that fast. Just drop, 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 drop. And get away from 35, that. 616. And 112 miles an hour. What? It's traveling 112 miles an hour. I Down? can see that on this uh, map. And it's heading south. We're headed to wow. Junction City. Yeah, I know. It, I, it was falling like a rock, though. Yeah, yeah. Dropping like a rock now. This is not going to work. Should I turn here? No. Uh, what is this? I don't know. No. It's a road. No, keep going straight. That's almost free fall speed. Yeah, it's dropping pretty quick. We're heading right for the 37 on the map. Heading for this highway? 37 Junction City. Are we on 37? Yeah. I thought we were on 13. Oh, wait. No, you're right. We're on 13. Yeah, we're on 13. We're headed to... Uh, we're headed to 37, it looks like. Oh, man. We're on 13... 
going south, headed to 37. Is there a way to put us on that map as well? Not that I'm aware of. This thing should be slowing down laterally here soon. Once it drops below 30,000 feet, it usually slows down. Oh guys, I, I have had to use the restroom for the last several hours and I'm still holding it and it is rough. It is rough. It's like we're up here. The balloon got just shy of 100,000 feet. We were just shy of 100,000 feet, but if we get some really good footage, it'll be awesome. In Australia, southern Australia, especially if we're in the southern area of Australia, we should do a balloon launch from there. See what we can see toward the south. We're more than we The do south, south rim. We go South Africa. Or South, south Africa. South Australia. 31,000 feet. Argentina probably gets shot down. It's a little too close for comfort there. 31,618. 58 miles per hour. December, yep. Australia in December. That's that the plan. Built on a hillside. Oh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. What's going on here? Well, it depends on if you're talking about the chat or the video. What's what's going on here? It's awesome. <laughs> it's I am I am I am really hoping we get a UFO on that camera, man. If nothing else. No, we're not doing one for the eclipse. Uh, didn't plan on that. There are others out there, I believe, that are planning it though. These are expensive tests. By these the are way. yeah, these are expensive. Shout out to uh, do I or does he want to know? Yeah, I don't know if he wants his. Okay. So I, yeah. I just, Shout out to the guy that made this possible. Yeah, one yeah. of our team members. A true hands-on fella, for sure. So, but yeah, you know, I, it's I would love. I, mean, I, I would love to be able to do some more of these tests and actually get some of the other uh, researchers together. Everybody come together. Uh, you know, to get I really fun. do wish that the research community wasn't so fractured and you know credit happy and oh, I, I, I said it this first I thought of this I first. coined the phrase I, I did, this. did this I did that I I I I I I I I I I I I I <laughs> we could be a lot better together pride man ego but everybody's a shill let go of my ego everybody's a shill yeah everyone well yeah, that's what they say Everybody's a shill. Well, they should take a shill pill. Take a shill pill. I think most of these people don't even know what the word shill means. There's a shill in the air. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we are heading to, I think it's a state park or something. Somebody was saying something about that. Have you looked into the logistics of a rocket yet? No. I haven't. Have you? Not in Indiana. I mean, you have to be out <laughs> west. Yeah. I don't even know about us launching a balloon where we're located because we're right on the flight path of Midway and O'Hare. Yeah. We'd have to go like 20, 30 miles south easily, and then you have to look at the jet stream at that point. And I definitely don't want to do that because the cruising altitude for those planes is not at 35,000. It's a lot lower because they're coming in. They're descending. 26,000 now. So I guess the balloons, to, uh, the um, parachutes, Catch him. Doing his job. Well, that 111, was that the side to side? 26,000. It's, it's traveling 43 miles per hour, I guess. Okay. Not 111. Or I just want to hear that dome slap for myself. Yeah, you know what? I'm not buying it. I'm not buying that the rocket hit the dome. I'm not if that's, the, that's, that's assuming a, the dome is up there, then the dome would have to be upwards of 10,000 miles high because the sun and moon are allegedly at 3,000 miles now high. Now, here's the thing. So, How high is the kingdom coming? Huh? How high is the kingdom when he brings back the kingdom? How high is Oh, it? yeah, it's 1,500. 1,500 or 18? 15. So, so if it's 1,500... Pretty sure. Yeah, so it's got to be at least that. Miles. Miles. Yeah. You ain't getting a rocket at 1,500 miles. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, yeah. All all the stuff that we've been seeing has been, you know, under what 150,000 tops, I think. Yeah. At the at the most, I think yeah. 
150,000 yeah. feet. We're talking 150,000 feet yeah. max. And, you know, Sun and Moon are allegedly at 3,000 miles. New Jerusalem's at 1,500 miles. And the dome, presumably, is about 10,000 miles. So, so nobody's hitting the dome. Everybody keeps saying, oh, I want to hit the dome. Unless you're down at the in Antarctica, where the dome would be, you know, a lot tapered closer, in. tapered, yeah, tapered in. Uh, okay, sir. Hey, hey, Victor, we need to do a sunset launch yeah. because everyone wants to see the transition from uh, day to night yeah. with the sun going down. Uh, that would be awesome. I want to finish this one before we go on to the next one. But noted. This is northeast, dude. Look at this. It's like Boston. Oh, this whole area it looks a lot like you know, does, New, right? New England. This looks very New England. Yeah. Cute and quaint. Cute and quaint. All right, so we were on the 22. Now we're, now we're going to take the 668. 668. Yeah, we're almost right under it now, I think. But it's still up there. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to see it, I don't think. No. But I, I think we are... Pretty well, it's shooting to the east pretty quick. Is it? Wow, heading towards Highway 90, can't tell 92 or 93. Yes, oh. previous launch, previous balloon launches are on the YouTube channel. Go check them out. We have some really cool footage. Um, there were a few issues on the second launch. Really. On the second launch, the second launch, the first launch. We, we have footage from the first launch. Second launch had some issues, so we don't have any footage. We actually had a gimbal fall off, and we were never able to recover it. So we went to extra precautions to secure the gimbals correctly this launch. Ready? Whee! Whee! No hands! Whee! I'd have to do it on this one coming down. This is the one. Choo, 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 choo. <laughs> What's the altitude, guys? Uh, in one of the videos, it does appear that there's a little bit of curve. Um, we'll let you guys be the judge. You can take a look. That's why we're continuing to do this, because we really want to make sure of everything. Wow, this would be awesome riding. <laughs> Dude, it almost, it's, I'm I'm jealous, man. Did you get butterflies just now? No, I don't think I did. Did you? Yeah. Butterflies make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Butterflies they make tickle. me happy. They tickle my tongue. What's the altitude, guys? Where we Help us out here. 21062. 21062. 21062. So, so still got a little ways to go here. Yeah, we're going to be. We are having fun. <laughs> it is a great morning. On camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wendy's. I don't want to degrade Wendy's. Are you kidding me? I love Wendy's. I might degrade Starbucks. We have a Starbucks in here. We got a McCafe. I will use a McCafe. I hate McDonald's. Sorry, guys. Don't, I do. Don't pee in the cup, too, please. I'm not going to pee in the cup. We are, we are in Wayne National Forest. Obviously, Wayne National Forest. Are you going to Guys, you uh, don't worry about it, okay? We are getting off topic, okay? <laughs> Am I really not going to have reception today? Oh, well, we will have reception today. No, Somebody might, but we won't. You know what? Don't right, trust people? everything you right, see on right. Google or read. I'm I'm okay. well, well, because Google is rigged. <laughs> <laughs> Should, I mean, what's your reception right now? We got a lot of hills out here. I'm getting a little motion sick. We're gonna have to be careful. What altitude are we at? Uh, we're close. 21,000. How close are we? Like we're at 21,000 feet. How far away from Dutch City? What have we got, four miles? You know what? I am not gonna think about that. Pull it up on Google Maps. Pull it up on Google Maps. This is kind of so you can kind of see where we're at in relation. We have 69 people watching the live stream. It is slowly climbing. We have been streaming for two hours, 10 minutes, and 10 seconds. I am not going to pee in the cup, man. Okay, <laughs> focus on the balloon launch. Oh, it's in it. It's in what? It's 
It's in Wayne National Forest. It's in Wayne National Wayne Forest. Wayne National Forest. Shoot. This is not going to be fun, guys. You people brought your hiking boots. We it's, may uh, actually see Bigfoot. It's gearing up for a several mile hike. We are going to catch Bigfoot live no, on no, camera like, and possibly a chupacabra. Oh, I'm not even joking. I know, like how... Thank you for the 42 thumbs up. Really appreciate no that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess my whole thing is in all this, you know, is this our last balloon test in Ohio? Probably. Oh, it is for me. Yeah, I mean, each of these trips cost me $1,000. I don't really have that kind of money to be throwing around. So, no. Nope. Hey, Sheila just joined. Hey, honey, love you. <laughs> What's happening, Sheila? A little late to the party, just wake up. <laughs> 14,990. Still dropping. Still dropping. Okay. Yeah, at least the road's not closed. Okay. We're balloon chasing. At this point, because we really were way out in the middle of nowhere, we lost our cell phone connection and that terminated this portion of the live feed. But this works out pretty good for the sake of this video, because we can talk about something here. Remember how I told you not to get too excited about this footage? Well, obviously by now, if you believe in the globe, you're quite happy to have seen curvature in a lot of this footage, even from the 7.2 millimeter lens. If you believe the Earth is flat, you're probably denying that you did see curve. Well, when I saw this footage, I gotta be honest, I couldn't deny that I did see some curvature. That was naturally quite frustrating for us, but Victor, while not being a flat earther, was frustrated for a different reason. Like us, he questioned the footage just as we did, but for a different reason. He saw sometimes that it was curved and sometimes it was flat. There did appear to be some distortion. Now, if you recall, the whole reason we all decided on the 7.2 millimeter lens was because it was not a fisheye lens, and it was supposed to be the closest lens available for a GoPro that would be the closest to the human eye. Now, while we still believe it is the best and closest lens that you can get for GoPro to the human eye, it still does have some barrel distortion to it. And uh, here's a clip from a test Victor did with the lens shortly after posting the raw footage to his YouTube channel. I had a quick uh, update to provide to you guys regarding um, whether or not or how much distortion is in the 7.2 millimeter lens. Um, just to give you a really quick understanding, every single lens in existence has some measure of distortion. It's not, you know, extreme with rectilinear lenses as it is with fisheye lenses, but it's still there. There is slight distortion. Now, I'll be honest, I did not expect there to be as much distortion in the rectilinear lens that's been in the 7.2 since I started doing some more tests on it. Um, when I initially looked at the photos on the website and talked to the guy that I ordered it from, from Rage Cams, he was really, um, friendly and he assured me that it had the least amount of distortion um, in comparison to all the other GoPro lenses. So um, I had this kind of I had this discussion with Rob already a little bit about you know how pretty much every lens has some form of distortion or some amount of distortion. But the nice thing with rectilinear lenses is it's very correctable. And I kind of wanted to show you guys how that looks. So in general lenses distort um, there's what's called barrel distortion, and barrel distortion occurs like a barrel kind of in the center of the lens and causes things to bulge just like a fisheye lens does. So I wanted to show you here, you can see there's a slight curve with this, uh, this tube here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there and I'm going to rotate the both layers. I have two layers, I've corrected and uncorrected. So I'm going to rotate this a little bit just so you can kind of see and get the an idea of what this is going to end up looking like. Um, basically how much distortion is there. So that's pretty good there. So this is with distortion. As you see, it's bulged slightly in the middle. Um, and I'm going to turn off. Basically, I, what I did is I went through this process here. This is where you take the camera, and I did this in video mode just so I know it would apply to the video 
well because sometimes the aspect ratio shifts and that sort of thing um, between video and photos. So what I did is I went through here and I had this software, Adobe Lens Profile Creator, create a profile for the 7.2 rectilinear GoPro lens. And so we created that profile and it tracked those points and it detected you know obviously any form of distortion or um, geometric distortion, chromatic aberration distortion and vignetting as, as it you know as it could in the lens any and all. And so this is what I came up with. This, this carbon fiber rod I have here was from a drone build a few actually two years ago um, or three years ago actually, 2014. So this is a 32 millimeter carbon fiber rod, pretty pretty good sized carbon fiber rod, um, and it's very straight. Um, I got it from Rockwest Composites and their tolerances are, it's better than a ruler. So that is with correction there. So I'll show you without correction. See there's slight distortion that's with correction. So there is some distortion there. There's, 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 it, it's not a ton, but it's enough that it does need correcting. Now let me just say that no correction has been made to this video. Uh, I'm just uh, showing you the raw footage as it was given to me by Victor. He has also not corrected any of this footage. But what are we to make of it? Well, Again, as I said in the interview I did before our first launch, I'm under no delusion that this test is going to prove anything to anybody. Uh, I mean, people are going to argue for both sides either way. So I will say I do see a very slight curve. But between the barrel distortion of the camera lens and the clouds, honestly, it's hard to tell what the true horizon really is. So at this point, look, I'm content that we busted Mythbusters and we showed the true differences between what is seen with a fisheye lens versus uh, what is seen with a non-fisheye lens. Everything else is obviously going to be debated for eternity by both flat earthers and ballers in the comment section below. So uh, let's just go ahead and get back to our adventure. Going back to Highway 13 because, oh, because of course, a loop? Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, I think so. Target enforcement area. 6,509 feet, so it's, uh, we should be... It's a 6,000? Yeah, it'll be coming down can, pretty well, quick now. I almost see it then. Uh, but I don't know, it. I don't know where we are on the map in relation to it. It's, um... We uh, are at, uh... So we're still at 668, I can't remember. Yeah, we're live for as long Green as Green Branch Road. We're on 668, heading south near Green Branch Road. I can't tell. You have to map. zoom in big time. Yeah. And my phone is the only thing we can use on Google Maps. 5,000 feet is coming down. They know where they're at, though. Victor knows where he's going. Yeah. Well, yeah, that... got a pretty good feel for it, I think. Yeah. So the balloon's been in the air almost two hours right now. Yeah. Should be coming into sight soon. Yep. I agree. He's turning down this road. Uh, that depends on where we are, though. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe you guys can look it up. We are Black Gold Road. We are in. Black Gold Road. Black Gold Road. Off of 37 East. Black Gold Road off of 37 East. So I don't know how close we are to the balloon. Can anybody let us know how close we are to the balloon? Are we any, anywhere near where we could see it? Uh, yeah, me too, Luke. What did he say? Praying the cameras stay intact. Tile Plant Road 42. Three thousand feet. Three thousand. Three thousand nine hundred twenty-seven. Yeah. East of New Lexington. 
Are we anywhere near it? Yeah, we don't know. We're flying blind. Yeah, we're, we're driving blind. We're driving blind. I we're can't just following tell. him, so we don't know. We're just. I can't. Tell. I can't wait to see. I'm looking up because 3,000 feet, you might be able to see that balloon. Well, it depends on how far away we are from it. I can't tell. Yeah. We're we're okay. We're pretty far northwest, though. That's what they're telling us. So we probably won't see it. We'll probably have to go looking. Probably have to go out with the drones. We need to go southeast towards the state park. Should we have stayed on a main highway? No, no. There's no main highway near us. This is the main highway. Yeah, locals, man. <laughs> yeah, this is the main highway. <laughs> We're on the main highway. Watch out for the now, cows. Are you going by? You know, what, what road are you looking for? Are you on, are you using a truck or a horse? <laughs> uh, Take a left at the cow. That's Betsy. Yeah, everybody knows. Well, wait a minute. If it's the brown one, that's <laughs> then that, you gotta take a right. <laughs> that might be Melba. Yeah. If it's the brown one, you take a right. If it's white and black, take a left. Make sure you feed her a dandelion. She'll appreciate it. <laughs> Tell her you love her. Yep. Don't be tipping. Don't be tipping. Don't be tipping my Don't cows. Don't tip our cows. Nope. They know their job. Okay, here we go. 3,927. Is that the County Four Transit? miles per hour. They get involved State in Street. Where are we going? <laughs> we are in Perry County. Perry County, Ohio. Perry County. Man. How far are we from Cincinnati? Right now? Oh, I have no idea. Cincinnati is back to the west. 3,927. It's really kind of just hovering there in the 4,000. Oh, dude, I thought it's a bird again. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a balloon. The plane, the plane. <laughs> the balloon, the balloon. The balloon, the balloon. The balloon, the balloon. New Lexington Bible Church. Ah, they're saying no offense, but you need a female in that car to get y'all directions. <laughs> no, we don't. Why would you say that? We got maps. Are those other guys still behind us? In the yeah. silver car? Yeah. Now, does uh, he have any type of tracker other than the phone device? I don't know. Could tell you. I know he had like three different types of uh, tracking in the box. Okay. Alright, so here we are. Main Take it a ride on Main and State Street. Street. Main and State in the middle of nowhere. Back on 37 again? Is this 37? I thought I saw a sign back there. It's heading north now. Blue is heading north. What's the altitude, guys? Let us know what the altitude is. We're heading north. Or the balloon's heading north. It has not updated for four minutes, what? It hasn't had an update in four minutes? That's what she said. That means it may have dropped. Oh yeah, maybe. It may be out of the sky by now. Oh, uh, that would really stink. That could really stink. Perry County Airport. That may be why it's not updated. It's on the... Oh, Cessna picked it up on their wing. <laughs> it's on its way to Sioux Falls. Yeah. Well, one of those guys in the flying lounge chairs probably... Oh, my gosh. Just reached out and grabbed it. 3927. That hasn't updated. So, 3927, that's what it's been for a long time now. So, yeah, they may have lost tracking on it. Wow. 
how bad would that suck? Guess we're gonna have to pay that lady a visit. some that were like uh, impact generator like like it senses uh, jolt okay cash my food last update was 1013 yeah that was six dollars at least right yeah at least it's your cell phone time She's right. I'm looking at this thing hasn't. It, ha it had a blue line like it was heading north on. What's this road? I'm gonna be looking. On Marietta Road Southeast, 17. Is it 17? We're nowhere near. Or 71. I can't, I can't tell. This app is really annoying. Southeast. Okay, here's the, something. Oh, that's where they are, Marietta Road. So, so this is Marietta Road. Yep, this is it. It's somewhere around here. This is where we lost it. Over. Oh, he's got, he's, he's got a pee. He's got a pee. But this is the last known location. Is just north of Marietta Road. Yep, right over here. Uh, right over here. Oh, wait, 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 it's a big tank you took, Peter, right there. <laughs> See what's going on. Yeah, I'd be sitting up here. What's going on? Um, well, I'm in roaming, which really sucks. Yeah, this I can't pull up the spot tracker app, I don't think, unless like it's like the last little bit of data. Give me a hotspot. Hey, Rick! Take this. I'm going to see if I can get him a hotspot on my phone. Okay. Is that what happened? He's got 
signal. All right. Well, we're live. Looking for this bad, bad balloon that got away again. They're saying it's by a lake. Coordinates: thirty-nine. Thir okay. Thank you, Lauren. Hang on a minute. Lauren wrote that. Lauren, pop that in again. What's this? Why? 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 Oh, I just did it again. All right, let me shut this off because it just messed up. And of course, after Rick shut the camera off, uh, we lost cell signal. It was hard for him to get it back up again. And, um, you know, we were kind of freaking out at this point, i got to be honest with you. So I just want to give a special thanks to all of you who prayed for us at this point because we thought, oh, no, we've lost the balloon again. We have no cell signal out here. We had no idea where it was. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for praying for us that we'd be able to find it and that, of course, all the footage and cameras and everything would be intact. Uh, I really believe that our prayers were answered especially when you consider where that balloon landed as compared to the whole entire surrounding area and that nobody messed with it from the time that it landed until we were able to recover it. See if we can do this. So what's the status? So I'm trying to. You're connected. Okay, I'm connected. Give me a ping. Come on. So just freaking ping. No. All right. Well, I'll, you know what you should have done is attached a uh, a tile to it. Um, Think about that. Um, you should have attached a tile to that thing. The tile. So, so what's the status, device. Rick? Well, Hold it on. Connects to your phone. I think we lost the balloon for now. That's a really good idea. But we're going to yeah. find it. Yeah, it That's is. a really good idea. We will find it. You've never heard of a tile. Dude, they sell them at Micro Center. They're 20 bucks. Really? All right, so now we're going to... You're saying it's near a lake. Okay, guys, I'll wait for you to tune back in over here because I know that I had to shut the camera off. Sorry, it messed up on our end. We couldn't see. We are literally in the middle of nowhere. What time is that? Okay, Lauren. Lauren <laughs> okay. said that it's at 39 degrees. So I think my. Can you type these coordinates in? Oh no, coordinates right here. What are you talking about? You guys, oh, no, 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 stop! No. Stop typing. <laughs> oh can no. You, do, you, do you have signal? Can you can you give me a? Uh, you can scroll. You can. Well, what scroll. I need is I need a. Well, you should be able to. I mean, I could. There, there you is. go. Yeah. I need a. Uh, can you give me a? A MiFi. Yeah, my. Okay, yeah. we're still live. I didn't know my MiFi could work. Are we still live? Somebody hey, type something. Launch, we're attaching a tile to the balloon. Let me see. He has a tracking device. We track it from the phone. Well, we've got like three trackers. Hey, Kavanaugh, what's happening, brother? Apparently. I'm, I'm trying to get the second tracker to work right now. We are in the middle of nowhere, Ohio, so if we lose you because it bounced off and on of. Uh, some of it, we're all, there's, well, how many of us with the Verizon? One, three, four. Sprint. Four. Four of us. I'm Sprint. Three of I'm us sprint. have signal, one doesn't, right? Yeah. I oh, got, I'm on extended. Yeah, I'm on extended too. That's, so you're Sprint and you're Sprint, Victor? Extended 3G. So guess everyone with Verizon. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yes, one minute ago. It is on the ground and we got a ping. You got a ping? Yep. Got a ping. Bam. All right, here we go. Got a ping. Got a ping. Nice little thing to have happen. Got a ping, baby. And we're back. All right. I'll take that. We 
got a ping. Is he going? Bada bing, bada bing, got a ping. <coughs> With the other tracker, I think. It was a different tracker. That's why you put multiple trackers on it. I see Bob on his head, ping is the death. Oh, it's in my pocket, bro. Oh. Okay. You want that charger? No, I think we're good. There it is. All right. Still on? We still live? Yeah, we are still live. There's the silo we need to climb. We need to climb that, and that'll give us our vantage point. And maybe some cell signal, too. <laughs> you know what? Is that being used as a cell tower? I don't know. That's fenced in like one. Directions from the airport, coordinates. I can't read that. <clears throat> All right, well, uh, Victor pulled up a different app because uh, he had several different trackers inside the box, and apparently he's got a ping uh, from one of them. And we're not too far away from where he received that ping, I guess. Right down the road. Right I think he said, what, two miles or something like that? Yeah, it could be. Josiah thought a mile. Josiah thought it was a mile? Yeah. We are out in the middle of nowhere. Back to the hills. Hope it's not stuck at the top of a tree. Uh, a lot of trees around here. Are those folks playing with a parachute just now? <laughs> hey, Mama. I Look at this, baby. I got a, a box fell out of the sky. Hanging from a parachute. Oh, that's me. I gotta put my seatbelt on. Rod's breaking the law in Ohio. Breaking the law, breaking the law. There we go. Here we go. Wee. I think that guy's gonna be there all day. <laughs> you think? <laughs> that was a big that's, yard. That's, that's a little 21-inch deck. Yeah, that's a lot of a lot of mowing. Keep it busy all day. Yeah. Still got enough gas, I hope. Yeah. It's just when we, when we <laughs> stop at the gas station, if we walk in and you hear banjos playing, <laughs> we'll wait till the next stop. Yeah. What in the world is that place? What is the new coordinates? I don't know. They have it in theirs. Hey, James. James Huppenthal. Hey, man. We were just talking about you. I'm uh, wondering how you're doing with your. Uh, experiment that we want to do with the lasers yes uh, so you have to give me an update give me a call sometime let me know what uh, what the deal is with that uh, we don't know the coordinates he's Victor has it up in his car he's got a he's got an app on his phone oh somebody else got the coordinates I wonder if they typed it in somewhere Let's see what happens. spend the entire day driving around out oh, here. Oh, man. I don't think we will. I think we're going to find this thing. Fairly simple. There's so many variables, man. The jet stream. Oh. Tracking. Just regular. You know, cellular service. Seatbelts. Seatbelt. What a rush, though, huh? It, you know, this is an emotional roller coaster ride. <laughs> I mean, get all this you know, I try to go into these things with no expectations because whenever you have expectations you're yeah. setting yourself up that's true man. I mean it is still a kick in the gut sometimes but all right, you get excited and then you get bummed out you get excited and you get bummed 
Oh, no. it's a it's a roller coaster ride, man. There ain't no doubt about it. Now is this is he? Okay, what's he doing here? Wouldn't that be cool if it just ended up on this hay field out here? Yeah, that would be. That'd be pretty cool. If and it did. Here, I'll hand this to you. There it is. Hold oh, on. Where? Yeah. There's something. Hold this. Take it. Here. There's something over there. What is that? <laughs> Stupid. You guys, I see it. Got it. I actually see it. I think okay. I saw it. Come on, Josiah. Is that it? There it is. Yeehaw! Let me switch the camera. How oh, we can walk it now? We got. God bless this. It's still rolling. All right. It's not still. It's we rented awesome. it. It's still on, but it doesn't say it's still recording. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Yeah, that's fine. We're good. This is the balloon. All right, bye. I can't tell if it's still recording. It doesn't look like it. Whoo! Yeah. Both cameras. Hopefully it recorded. We got it. Of all places to land, too, huh? It's right in the middle of this field. Whew. Look at this. It's right in here in this gully. Right here. That's mm -hmm. phenomenal. Whew. Rob was running. <laughs> I was running. I was going to see it that time. <laughs> Both cameras. I had to stop, dude. My camera keeps messing up, man. <sighs> when I turn this thing, if you bounce the phone. So <sighs> anyway, yeah, we got it. Both cameras. Okay, let me see us. See these guys. There's the boys. There's all the fellas. The cameras are still running. Are they still recording? You're kidding me. Uh, no, that one's not recording, actually. That's a little concerning. No, there's that one. But they're on. It might have been in ran out of data. Oh, it capped at 2 hours 30 minutes. Well, that, that, was, that was still at altitude. Yeah. That's yeah. like in the last 10 minutes. Yeah. Dude, what if they cut Dude, out as soon as they landed? Look, look. Oh, that would have been cool. The balloon is still there, though. The whole thing, again. <laughs> what the heck? It didn't burst. It didn't what a perfect up, place man. to land, though. Dude, do you see the trees? Yeah, right I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, well, look, at it landed right in that little hole right there. It landed in this grassy area. Whew. This hay field. Wow. We were just saying, this is exciting, depressing. This is the exciting part. This is the roller coaster. This is the roller coaster. And now we're gonna go get back in line and stand for two and a half hours yeah. for 19 seconds of enjoyment. Oh, wait, wait. I'm just gonna unplug it because I don't want to run it, uh, ruin the uh, video transmitter. Oh, gotcha. Anna. And how far away are we from where we were? How many miles did you think we drove, you guys? Uh, we're not that far. We're probably, what, 50 miles? 50? Probably. About 50. Yeah. Everything looks good, dude. Everything's golden. Everything's you got golden. it unplugged? Yep, it's unplugged. Sweet. Yeah, let me power these suckers down. Are we, suckers are we still live? Battery. Is everybody still watching? Oh yeah, we're live. Woohoo! Yeah. So, they didn't even go through, it didn't even burn through all the battery in the uh, power cell. No. That's awesome. 
It, it did two hours, 32 minutes on that one. What was on it? Yeah, two hours, it must cut off. Wait, hold on. Is it still recording? Oh, it's still recording. Nice. It's nice. Still recording. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It just... <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> Here, I got this. We make sure it saves properly. Yeah. Hey, Victor, hold on, man. We never got to do this last time. <laughs> Boom. Got it. <laughs> That's awesome. Shout Boom. 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 Brother. Good work, that fellas. That is hilarious. I can't believe. We got it back. Didn't land in the tree. I know. And I'm not exactly. gonna lie, I was like, I was in doubt, man. That we're, is a blessing. When we were, well, I was so total blessing. Yeah. So the, the the tracker that's in there only updates every five minutes, and so the last ping was like way far north. Yeah. And then finally, when I got signal, it updated. So where we stopped. Yeah, where we stopped. That's so cool. Yeah. That spot trace app is really nice. Yeah. For like when you fall. We got it. Are you stoked, Rob? I am. Here. Yes, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> looking, looking forward to seeing the footage. I, yes. I, I think we crossed. We were only 200 feet from one from, ping. From 1,000. From 100,000. So I'm pretty sure we crossed it because the next pop, or the next ping was what, 97? The balloon got that far. Yeah. The balloon hit 100,000. <laughs> the balloon hit 100,000. It's close enough. Close enough. 998. I mean, come on. It was 98.19 or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Sure. Close enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A good, almost thirty thousand feet higher than MythBusters got. So. <laughs> Woo! I just can't believe the gimbals were running when they hit the ground. That's a long time. And they're not broken. That means the parachute worked pretty good. The parachute worked at some point. The parachute deployed. It dropped the best like first 20,000 feet though. Yeah. Like in two minutes. Yeah. It was dropping. It was. I can't wait to see that footage, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you should call Brandon. Tell him. I told him. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. Going full recovery. Both cameras. That's cool. That guy has no idea. We may have just discovered secrets of the universe. Yeah. <laughs> you want to strip these gimbals off here? All right. Good start. Okay. That's where it landed. Bye. Bye. Tim here? Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and share it on your favorite social media sites. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned, and we'll see you back next time. Do you?